It looks familiar, and yet different. Well, well. Is this a dream? I need to get out of here. Father. Blind fool. Well, what don't I see? Maybe you could give me an answer this time. What don't you know? Why is the golem pursuing our blood? You've not just put me in danger, but Liga as well. Who did you hurt so much that the golem was aiming to? Hold on. It succeeded, didn't it? That's what killed you. That's what made the building fall on you. Why did you let a rat like Konechkin into our home? Now he's dogging Ligia and me. Were you working for him? Did you start informing on your customers for him? A fool's theory. Who inflicted this punishment on you? What for? And how the hell do I lift it? Everything I've done... Was with your children and mine. I've heard it all before. For our good, I know. Thanks a lot. I didn't ask you for anything. Certainly not for someone like Konechkin to cover for me. I didn't make you get into bed with him. Are you finally going to say something? You've wasted your time. I left you all the answers. You just have to find them. Where am I supposed to look for them? In the Black Grimoire, which I nearly got from you? In that case, where is it? Who was it? Your friends? Your coterie that you hid even from your lover? Who are they? What were you planning? You possess everything I had. I have left you everything you need. Come back here! I'm not finished with you yet! <sighs> Teodosia Majewska's bathhouse. Viktoriusz speaking. Krótki, this is Pilevin. I was waiting for your call, Commissioner. Go on. They released Kayetan in the morning. I thought you'd want to know. I cleared him of all the charges, but he doesn't really care. How did the fishermen's, I mean, Clara's case end? They'll hang her. No one will miss her. I understand. Look who's up. Sleeping beauty. Have some coffee. In the morning, Grazenka brews it strong. All the revelations yesterday overwhelmed me a little. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my outburst. I see a familiar look on your face. It's the one father often gave me when he expected me to behave a particular way. Did it work? Forgive me for yesterday. Warsaw was getting to me. Yes, I know the feeling. And I don't want to quarrel with you either. We'd be better off focusing on the obstacles ahead of us. Maybe I'll talk to Konechkin. I suspect he'll offer us a deal with the devil. For now, I'm just thinking out loud. I thought about what you were saying yesterday. Those strange phenomena related to the golem. Once, when I was taking a carriage to the store, the horse took fright. First it reared, then it started kicking, and after a moment it froze and dropped 
dead on the cobblestones. But it was already old. Could that have been the golem? That I don't know yet. Does that mean we might be in danger? I don't know how long it took the golem to reach father. He only found me in Warsaw that one time. I don't know how he works. I can't believe father didn't know that either. There must be something in his office. Anything. Maybe. Is there any other way you could find out? Has anything been reported about Port Praga? I've been keeping an eye out, but nothing yet. But Svetlana's disappearance won't go unnoticed for long. Hyenas like fresh corpses. I had a dream about father. Me too. Right after he died. He was soothing me with my favorite lullaby. First he insulted me, and then blood poured down his face. Mm. Very funny. Do you see him often in your dreams? This was only the second time. I hope there will be more. It's been a long time since I was quarantined in the hospital. They're not ordinary dreams. They're very realistic visions. I talk to him, I ask questions, but... I can't understand his answers. Why don't we focus on real life? I know that you're still sorting through things there, but I really have to visit our store in Miruf. I'm basically done, and I was planning to go there now after breakfast. Will you join me? I should look through all of Father's things in the store. Everything he left behind. All right, let's go. Not much has changed here. Just the sign. Or maybe the owner. That's right. Now it's your kingdom. I don't think queens dig through columns of numbers, exotic names, addresses, and consignment notes. Or scald customers who don't know the difference between powdered skull and powdered mummy. Have you developed an interest in the family business? Actually, what is the difference between mummy powder and skull powder? Uh, skull powder is powder from a skull. You use it to make an extract for apoplexy and bleeding. Thomas Willis, a pioneer of brain research, had a habit of adding it to his hot chocolate. Powdered mummy is an oil. Egyptian mummies are covered in a dark substance that's a mixture of embalming fluids and organic fluids from the body of the deceased. This hardened human resin has to be scraped off the mummy and made into an oil. It helps with wounds, rashes, sore throats, and dizziness. It sounds like that substance is bitumen. And there are easier ways of getting it than scraping mummies. That might be. But our customers prefer scraped mummies. Unless you are considering diversifying our selection. This conversation has convinced me even more that Father left the business in the right hands. Come into my chamber. I have to take care of the inventory. Try not to make more of a mess than there already is. What is this? The photograph, Victor. A marvelous invention. Father was very fond of them. I meant what father has on his face. 
that smile. I'm sure someone he disliked had just died. Did you want something, or are you here to joke around? When was this picture taken? Who knows, a quarter century ago? We must not have even been five. You two look more and more alike. Don't scare me. The guy next to father, that's Hayat, right? Yes, he's just younger, Victor. That's how photographs work, you know. They stop time and place. I can also see here that they were friends. But a year ago, that ended and they stopped working together. Yes, you mentioned it recently. It's a shame Papa never said why. Could Hayat have wanted our father to die? Could he have sent the golem after him? I think you'll have to ask him. I heard that he bought out one of the two rundown laundries here in Miruf, not too far away. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. I'm taking another look around. Is that? Yes. I'll take a quick look around. Be careful. On my way. Fate has brought us together again, Viktor Shulsky. Why do you bother King of the Tempermancers? I learned from my mistakes, and now the time has come for me to reclaim the throne and the title that I deserve. Come on, I dare you! Do you pass the other Thaumaturgs too? Of course not. The others are insignificant compared to you. I dare you! All right. To me, visitors. To me! Never. There is no shame in losing to a better man. The way tells me to find you again soon. I will be ready, White Roman. You will not know the day nor time. That is the creed of Temperancers. Yes, yes, just not here. My sister will kill me. 
Stay well. Until fate makes our paths cross again, King of the Tempermancers. That wasn't too hard. What a day. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Let's wait. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Nothing can be kept secret from me.
I have to find their meeting place. Am I a magician or what? Secrets. Not on my watch. Did your legs get in sore? Stupid question. I can't stop thinking about Svetlana. Do you think she... Yes, I suppose you're right. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Let me rest. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. What a day. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time.
Let's wait. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Hello, sweet secret. Am I a magician or what? Since we keep following one another around, maybe we should introduce ourselves. What are you talking about? I've got the impression that I've caught you gents' attention. I'm curious why. Don't you know where curiosity like that can get you? It'll cause you nothing but trouble. You guys are so devoted. Is the pay worth so much hard work? Maybe it's time to fight for a raise. I don't want to keep mucking around in this crap. Not for this kind of money. Following some spoiled brat around, standing for hours outside people's windows. And God alone knows what for. Not for this kind of money. Wait up. I'm not gonna stand here on my own with him. Let's talk to the chief. I had no idea about this place. Hello, sweet secret. I think that's everything now. So, besides father, there were two more. A candy lover and a coffee lover. Konevskin must have had one of them in mind. The one with the sweet tooth looks like a rabbi. I should look for him in the synagogue. The coffee lover, meanwhile. That's what I call you now. The doctor. Because you help rabbis and people the hospital is off-limits to. 
Rebels and revolutionaries. Luckily, I know someone who matches the description. Maybe we'll find out what she needed that ammunition for. Come on, we'll be careful. Time to get some donuts out of the leads. Am I a magician or what? Hello. You said a month, two at most. I believed you. Then came the very first rain, and it was pouring in again. You fixed it, then the next rain. Soaked. I can't sleep because I have to keep emptying buckets. It's leaking just as badly as it was before. But the eyes of God are in every place, and they're watching. Bravo. When I said two months, you said there was one hole in the ceiling, but the whole building is in shambles here. I can do it. Quiet. You can seal up your daddy's barn with straw. The roof is gonna get holes because the foundations are crumbling. So, let's go down to the basement. Oh no, definitely not there. What's in the basement that's so frightening? Hashem. Something down there reeks so awful that... Come now, don't be silly. Why do you afflict me so? I know why, because you know I shall bear it. Well, sir, are you just here to listen, or have you got something to say? Am I speaking to Rabbi Sofer? You see, all I got to do is mention these cellars, and his name comes up. Would Hashem let a synagogue be haunted? Hey now, quiet. You're too late, I'm afraid. My name is Feldman. Rabbi Sofer departed this world almost a year ago. Forgive me, I have worldly matters to attend to. I understand, Rabbi. And if someone were to help you with these workers? In the words of the market woman trying to tempt a Jewish man into idolatry, what harm would it do? <sighs> I understand.
Back up. God helps those who help themselves. But maybe you're right, Rabbi. Maybe Hashem is afflicting us, setting a test for us. You heard the Goy talking about Sofer. The old man cursed this place, especially these cellars. So I'll go on my own, and show that Hashem protects me against curses in Hashem's domain. On your own. You can seal up your daddy's barn, right? Fine, let's go. You've gotten the better of me again, Hashem. Your tests still surprise me, but if this is your will, I think Hashem has sent you to me. Who are you? I'm the son of Stanisław Szulski, and I really need help. Let's go into my office. Let's show Hashem we accept the challenge. Please, tell me what problem brought you here. Rabbi Sofer put a curse on my father. Unfortunately, it started affecting his children as well. A curse is a serious accusation, you know. I find it hard to believe Sofer would do such a thing. Maybe, Rabbi, you could tell me something about golems. Son of Stanislav, golems are a matter of Kabbalah, and you are not allowed to study them. It's a trap for a soul. There are tales of golems being summoned for revenge, or in good faith, for protection. But they all end rather badly. And you claim that Sofer supposedly sent a golem? I don't know. Did the old rabbi perhaps leave some things here? May I take a look at them? Yes, here you are. All his books are here. I don't think I threw anything out. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'll be off now. I'll pray for you. Rabbi? I'm listening. Mordechai Hayat. Do you know that name, Rabbi? He owns one of the laundries here in Miruf, but I admit he doesn't really come to see me. Maybe there are other things I could be of more help with. I found a prescription belonging to the old Rabbi. Was something troubling him? He had heart problems. The local pharmacist would even bring him some kind of special medicine. What was that pharmacist called? Abraham Horowitz. But now his pharmacy is sitting empty. Let me guess. He's dead? Unfortunately. Some say that the socialists were involved. Others claim it was the Ochrana's doing. Let's keep talking, if you need to. Rabbi, could you tell me something about Sofer? He was fair, but also difficult and very principled, like this city. Riots, provocations, pogroms, overpopulation. But if he's the one who inflicted the curse, he must have been a powerful thaumaturge and Kabbalist. Who can summon a golem? Normally, it's determined by need. The Kabbalist rabbi summons the golem himself, but other Jewish people can also entreat him to do so. In legends, the golem is a terrible punishment and a tool for meting out divine justice. But I think it's an offense against Hashem, and revenge is no justice. How can I stop a golem? To summon it to life, 
you write the three Hebrew letters spelling MS, truth, on the clay that formed it. In an attempt to stop the monster, the heroes of these legends would erase the first letter from its clay body. That leaves mess, which means death. But I don't know how much truth is in that. Rabbi, could you help me understand something about Kabbalah? No, and I'll say no more on the subject. I fear for your soul. I'm afraid that I won't find anything more here. Thank you, Rabbi. Can you feel him? He moves with the bustle of the market and the rustle of sand grains around the stalls. It feels like the sun is standing at its zenith and burning mercilessly. It's a visitor from a harsh desert land. A djinn. I felt something. Where is it? Nothing can be kept secret from me.
My, I can see you need a haircut, sir. Is it that obvious? Please, do your thing. No worries. We'll fix it in no time. So, how do you like your new hairdo? Perfect. I look brand new. You were already very handsome. I only needed to further enhance your looks. Him, the one with the book. You oozing carbuncle. You ain't had enough of Warsaw yet? So you're sticking your nose in on people here? You know what happens to fellas who sniff around where they ain't supposed to? Miruv, don't kid around with them. I just wanted to stop by the laundry. He must have shit his pants. You'll have to find yourself another laundry. Sweet secret. You're talking nonsense! By Abraham's beard, that's the way it was. Did you hear about Praga? I'm at the harbor getting fish, and half the wharf is in splinters. They said there's even bodies. More bodies than they usually fish out of the Vistula. Practically every day. They were only just writing about Povishle. But listen to this. They're saying it's some giant did it all. You sure? Maybe I can help. Recently I've taken an interest in one of those. Leave us alone. Did you wander in here by mistake? I hope those guys outside are your relatives. Otherwise, you're paying too much for your protection. Are you scared of something? I'm not easily frightened. I have the time spent working with your father to thank for that. You got some dirty laundry that needs cleaning, Mr. Shulsky. 
I was interested in this giant you mentioned to the fishmonger. I can't help you. Rabbis are the ones who deal with golems. I didn't say anything about a golem. I'm afraid I can't help you. And now, if you'd like... I'm leaving now, but I can tell this won't be the last time we meet. Farewell. something else you need? You were curious how my father died. Beneath the ruins of a building in Shrudmieszcze. That's awful. How did it happen? I'm glad you're asking. A remarkable death, isn't it? Yes. Let's have a word about your conflict with my father. There was no such thing. I have warm feelings for the storm. And his father as well. Why did you quit working for my father? It was a mutual decision. I know that you and my father parted ways in bad terms. What happened? We both had difficult personalities, but I still remember him fondly. Liar. Your anger still lingers around the photograph of my father. You're going to find it hard to hide anything from me. I'm not in the habit of speaking ill of the dead, Mr. Shulsky. Especially to their family. Old grudges drove us apart. Not all stains are easy to remove. Especially ones on a person's honor. And might they give you a reason to seek revenge? A motive? I can't summon golems if that's what you're getting at. But you know there is such a possibility. Is that all? I need to get back to work. I know about the pharmacist. Beg your pardon? All this is because Abraham Horowitz, isn't it? He lost his life, and the whole community felt it. Seems like you did most of all. I just don't get why Horowitz was so important to you. Community. Something you Shulskis don't know a thing about. Here, we take care of everyone equally. No one is more or less important than anyone else. Your father's punishment was fitting for his actions and his background. The wrath of the Jewish people. A death for a death. Was it worth it? A golem is a blunt instrument that kills and harms everyone in reach. What are you talking about? You wanted to teach my father a lesson, and you did. It's too bad innocent people died in the process. The building that collapsed on Stanislav, it was inhabited by people. Now all that's left of them are some damaged items. That's what happens every time the golem physically manifests. Random people lose their lives due to its untamed power. No, it can't be. It wasn't supposed to be that way. I don't think the punishment is adequate for the crime. Horowitz had something on his conscience. He must have, if both the Ohrana and the Socialists were interested in him. And what my father did, I can't believe I'm saying this, but his motives seem noble. Oh, do they? There's no trace of cruelty in his actions. He didn't do it for his own profit, but for some kind of greater good. Without any specifics, those are just words. My father and Sofer knew one another for years. Father knew the rabbi could be forced to create a golem if Horowitz was killed. They both took that risk. Sofer couldn't reveal that he knew Stanislav. He also knew that Horowitz had to disappear because he was a threat to too many people. To whom? That doesn't matter. 
You don't have anything to do with this, Mordehai. Just like I have nothing to do with my father's actions. I am connected to them only by my blood. What do you want? To get rid of the golem. Tell me something, anything, that will get me closer to a solution. Instead of telling you, I'll show you. Where? Into an alley? Where some friend of yours will smack me around? To the synagogue. Are you coming? Yes. Let's go. We'll stop to get Feltman. He should see this too. So, no wonder the roof is leaking if the foundation is crumbling. A lovely metaphor, Hashem. But what happened here had nothing to do with Hashem, did it? Mr. Shulsky wished to know the origin of his curse. This is where it took its shape. If I'd... Now I see it differently, but... But back then, when I was talking to Sofer, Revenge and justice seemed one and the same. Revenge is no justice. It is always dictated by anger. And in anger, Aaron comes easily. But Sofer agreed to it. He summoned the golem. What else do you want to know? What do you remember from the moment you summoned the golem? Nothing. I don't want to go back to that. As you wish. Unlike your father, you understand the word no. This place won't tell me any more. And what have you learned? The hole you can't miss over there is the new door the golem smashed when it was summoned to life. And no one saw anything. How is that possible? Is that your worry, Rabbi? The clay formed a shell that Sofer infused with the Saluta. Sofer told me to bring clay. Sticky and cold. I can't say how many of those buckets there were. Hours sculpting the Colossus until my hands went numb. I could feel the clay absorbing my anger as if my rage was making it take shape on its own. Hours? That must have been horribly exhausting. What's a few hours in exchange for a curse that lasts generations? Mm. These are the remains of some fabric that Sofa wrote something on, in Hebrew, I think. This might be some prayer, incantation, even a spell. There's not enough left to read anything. That's all, but I'm not any closer to a solution. I need someone like Sofer. A thaumaturge and a Kabbalist? Do you know one, Rabbi? 
There's only one name that comes to mind, but... Ariel Rofe. A good-for-nothing, vengeful, godless scoundrel. Strong words from your lips. Of course. Do you know one another? Well, I know him well enough to suspect that he might not want to help me. But I'll look for him. Clearly, the Shulsky family has an easy time getting into conflict with Jews. Come now, don't be silly. There is just one thing I'd really like to know, Mr. Shulsky. Standing where you are now, what do you think about your father's responsibility in all of this? For years I had no place in my father's life. Though I admit in any event that the feeling was mutual. But I don't want to judge him. Debts must always be repaid. I'm settling my scores. All right, I think it's time for us to go. This place just makes the blood boil. Let's get Mr. Shulsky away from here. And stop by tomorrow. We'll have some tea and work through a few questions. Mr. Shulsky, I would like this to be our farewell. I tell you from my heart, anger and pride are poor advisors. I know that firsthand, but it's too late for me. You can still save yourself. I'll be thinking of you. Shall we? Let's get out of here. And your legs getting sore? Stupid question. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. What do you need? The store looks better than I remember. More... human. I've sorted through the remaining junk and I'm keeping the monkey brains, prepared corpses and potency ointments just in the catalogue now so mothers can come here with their kids. Do you want to be better than father? People look at a businesswoman strangely. So I intend to prove to them that I'm better than businessmen. I'm doing my best. Has anything strange happened lately? Anything that might have something to do with the golem? A cup fell from the table and someone stumbled while crossing the doorstep, but I assume those aren't things that can be attributed to a golem. Most likely common clumsiness. That's good news. And some plaster fell from the ceiling, but 
That's probably because something was passing by. Nothing serious. Anything else? I have to poke around here a little more yet. I'm not completely sure what to look for. If you need anything, just ask. It's here, but something's wrong. Have we met? I told you it was him. The son of Shrudmieszcze. A great bout in the dungeon, top notch. Want to help some brothers in need? That depends on whether you know where Ariel Rofe is. Well then, no. Go to hell. Wait, he's got important business here too. And if we do know, you'll help? What's going on? Something's lit a fire under the copper's asses. It ain't enough that their weapon transport went missing. They mucked up again recently. Something smashed it to smithereens and now half the damn harbor's gone. They called in patrols and the army and they're guarding it now. But there's this little thing we gotta get from where it's stashed and destroy it for Ariel. So, you gonna help us, or what? And that damage at the port, what's it from? Don't know. The socialists blew something up, probably. No matter what. What matters is it throws a wrench in the works for us. The question stands. You helping or not? What are you supposed to get rid of for Ariel? Why do you care? Because I'm the one taking risk. If you don't succeed, then you don't need to know, right? I'll see what I can do. Czebonada. How did you know I was Polish? Because you're asking a stupid question instead of doing what you're told. What you're looking for here, Pariak? What treasures are they hiding in there that they need all these guards? His Excellency's dirty underwear. What do you care? I think I must be lost. Good. Get out of here. secret from me. Chevonada. See how they sparkle? They are worth that much, and they could be yours. My friend won't say anything, and neither will I. I don't... I don't know. Fuck that. We'll split them 50-50.
Respect. We had an agreement, right? Ariel hangs out around Ruzitz. But you didn't hear that from us. Hang on. Ruzitz is huge. Well then, good luck to you. The police plus the Ochrana. They have their way with this place. A thaumaturge has his lair. Am I a magician or what? It's quite a shambles on your mug there. Who botched it up like that? Place yourself in my hands and we'll make it prime in no time. Let's do it. Soon the fancy boy will be set for philandering. Stay still once I start working my shank. If you trash like a fish, you'll mark my floor up. I see. We don't want to reenact the Fleet Street scenario here. The way I see it, it's pretty swell, isn't it? It does look swell. So, tell anyone you want that you are not getting a bot job here. Things people come up with. Secrets, not on my watch. Nothing can be kept secret from me.
Well, well. Hey, Chief. Spare a ruble? How about two? <laughs> you look good, so I bet you're well up. A ruble? That's a lot of money. What are you going to do with it? We'll invest. Give us a ruble and we can make a bet. And then what? We'll make a bet with those fellows there. The potters. And if you go find them, and win in a square fight, then we'll have two rubles. And so the business goes. So what do you say, good sir? Let me summarize. You want me to fight Porter so that you can win a bet and multiply the money that I gave you? Yes. So the whole idea for making money is based on me? Why are you so surprised? We have to start somewhere. So, what do you say? Will you give us a ruble? Fine. Do you take a bill of exchange? You bet! Zedek, get your ass over here! This gent says he can paste you! Such a pretty lad? Ain't he afraid to get his hands dirty? Are you afraid to get beaten up by such pretty hands? Come here, lads! Got a permit? What permit? The river belongs to everyone, doesn't it? And who do you think stocks it, huh? You think five kilograms of bream just fell into the river? Pay the five ruble fine while I'm still in a good mood. Since you stock and care for the river, you deserve it. Here, five rubles. Thank you. Go ahead then. And remember, you gotta hook a fish to cook a fish. See ya. Let me rest. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time.
Hey, you. Are you stealing our girls? It's more like I'm saving them from the torture of your company. See how eloquent he is? And brave. Not bad. We'll turn your face around, fancy boy. You won't be such a smooth talker then. If you insist. A fight! How exciting! That's not what I expected. The smell of evil suggestions and pure malice with a subtle hint of sulfur. I think I know who you are, Scal. I bet a braggart just like you got your attention. I'll look for them before you lead them astray. Anybody there? I won't hurt you. Let's say two taps mean yes and one tap means no. Do you understand? How long have you been here? A day? Two? A week? More? Are you a harbor worker or a sailor?
Did you lock yourself up in here? Apart from some restraints, is there anything else troubling you? Have you seen the perpetrators' faces? Do you know who they are? Does it have anything to do with a certain well-known Warsaw thug, Abauritsi? Do you think this has something to do with the socialists? Was it someone local? Do you know anything about the stolen arms shipment? Do you happen to be one of the gendarmes who escorted the convoy? You're lucky I've sent it to Wild Salita here. I'll find a way to get you out. Do you really have to? You know... I'm not looking for trouble, gentlemen. Then you shouldn't have come here, right, Edek? Don't tell him what they call me, Yemuel! What were you going to do with the captured gendarme? I know you're holding him here. Edek, I'll tell you something. I think we'll have to drown them both now. I didn't sign up for this, Edek. Yemio, how many times do I have to tell you that you're not the boss yet? Stop calling me Edic. This isn't what you promised, Edic. No complications, and we'll live like kings, you said. I know what I said. Yemio is right. Edic, you should drown me before I tell anyone about you. Yemio has no say in this. I'm starting to think only Yemyo is looking for a way to get out of this. You saw what happened there. The coppers came with armored wagons. We can't run. We won't run. We'll take them by surprise. We'll give weapons to people. And we'll have some real fireworks for the police. First, we chase the Ruskies away from our neighborhood. Then the town. And then... Who knows? Yemyo, you've got the gun, so watch this one. Let's go. Why me? I want to go too. You got to be a little savvy for this. Stay put, I said. Fine, I'll tell you something. But no tricks, all right? This is awkward. Could I step outside and take a leak? My bladder's about to burst. Sure, buddy. No way! You're not going anywhere. Edek forbade it. How did you pull off that heist of the century? What? The robbery? Huh, we just sat around and talked, and the opportunity practically fell into our laps. Are you telling me you stole an arms shipment by chance? Actually, it was meant as a joke. Edic just wanted to scare the guards. And <laughs> being a little tipsy. What, are you grilling me now? Edic doesn't like you, does he? He certainly doesn't respect you. And the other way around. All he can do is put you down. And if I say anything, he always turns it on its head. So he comes out on top. Does he often promise you things? All the time. And the others are eager to follow. It's like he infects them with his ideas. And now he told me to sit here with you. Alec is a real bastard to push you around like that. The way he treats you? Yeah. Honestly, sometimes I feel like pasting him. Maybe there's a better way. Like what? He told you to stay put here like a dog and watch me. 
What do you think would upset him the most now? Let's think. If I didn't pay no mind to his command and let you go, he'd be mad, all right. Furious, even. It's what we want, isn't it? Ah. What would happen if that gendarme from the closet disappeared, too? I'll tell you something. I think Eddick would burst into tears. Then let's do it your way, Yemio. Thank you, and good job. I owe you, Thaumaturge. Lihotsky. Forget it. Shulsky. I like the way you outmaneuvered them. I'm surprised the army doesn't have more of you. I heard what those guys were planning. I must act. How come such morons pulled off something like that? The arms were on a barge with us. They came out of nowhere, and Edek somehow convinced the other gendarme to evacuate. He's very persuasive. Whenever there's any doubt, he takes charge and promises the Earth. And the others follow him. What do you intend to do? You heard what they said about the armored police wagons. The forces must have cut off ways out of the harbor. I know how many arms there were in the shipment. If Edek gives that away out there, there'll be a bloodbath. I need to call for reinforcements. You're right. That way we might avoid bloodshed. And you? Get out of here if you know what's good for you. Thank you, but I'm afraid I can't. In the midst of all this, there's a demon that I'm chasing. I'm certain it impacts our demagogue, Edic. I can't leave you all alone. Hang in here until I come back. You have nowhere to run. Lay down your arms, and we might let you off lightly. Get the hell out, you Tsar's lackeys! Today, the harbor! Tomorrow, all of Warsaw! Sergeant, it's that magician. You're still here? You always show up before a riot. Emil, the idiot! He had one job! Don't get in our way! You have no vision, no plan, and there will be no uprising. Yemuel told me you stole that shipment when you were drunk, as a joke. Do you believe that idiot? We cannot stop. The cops never reckoned with us the way they do now. Let's burn it all! You cannot end this without bloodshed, even if you wanted to. You've become a victim of your own demagoguery. You're right, and I don't mean to stop. People! We're about to fight the first great battle that will change the course of this land's history! It will be the cue for a nationwide effort, and will inspire all the partitions to fight! But the harbor will be ours. Right, Edic? First, we take the harbor, then Warsaw, and then we'll force the Tsar himself to negotiate! Sergeant, this is getting out of control. Let's get them, boys! People! What the foreign power has seized from us, we shall now recapture! Retreat! Retreat! Nazad! Nazad! For fuck's sake! Get lost, Russian bastards! It's our land now! We're taking over the harbor. 
From now on, we set the rules. And if you're not with us, you're against us! That's enough. Krampus, the old spirit of Christmas who visits naughty children. Erdik was a perfect tidbit for you. Time for you to choke on it.
Until Rasputin sees you. You two have a lot in common. Let's end this war, eh? Scatter and we'll let you off lightly. You stand no chance. Do you want another Red Sunday? Don't listen to him. The harbor. Then it's just... Shut the fuck up. It might not have been a model operation, but there were no casualties. Good job, Sholsky. What will happen to these people now? We don't want riots, so we'll try to intimidate them, book them, and we'll check on them if need be. But Edek is a ringleader. Have you thought about joining the services? No, that's not for me. Not with that headache. Goodbye, Lihotsky. I need to see Rasputin. What a day. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Hello. I thought there'd be something to look at. Much ado about nothing. Who are you? Last time, a different housekeeper came to greet me. How about that? What, don't you like us? That remains to be seen. We haven't known one another long enough. I have all I need to know who I'm dealing with. This is Maria. And this is Magdalena. We've all been waiting for you. Maria and Magdalena. Very interesting. Do you work for the Nandazhinskis? Grigory invited us here. He's waiting for you. Look at you two. Joined at the hip. Are you ever apart? Rarely. We complete one another. Not just in conversation. Stop it. I'm sure he's not here to talk to us. Then what do you want? I've come to see you, Rasputin. We know, we know. It looks familiar, and yet different. At last, the wait is over. Here he is. Sit down, Victor. 
What's going on? What sort of little shindig is this? It's an expression of gratitude. You've gone to great lengths. Is this for me? I appreciate my friends. Don't forget that. Now sit down. You'll soon see what I prepared. I came because my head's hurting again. Have a seat, please. Support the weak. Be patient towards all men. The moment has finally come. Here too is my loyal friend, Viktor Sholsky. It's thanks to him that we are where we are. And we will be in the future, where we intend. My mind has long been flooded with bloody visions. In their scarlet color, the mists of the future are reflected. I see a great star falling to the blood-stained earth. And the force of its impact tears the roof from sacred temples, including the Orthodox Church of St. Mary Magdalene, here in Praga. The earth swallows up the Iberian Gate. Kazan Cathedral stands underwater, and Notre Dame de Paris is consumed by fire. Our homeland will then be exhausted by an illness that has long eaten away at her. There is a feeble spark of hope for us. It still flickers, though it may soon go out. No. The heir to the throne, little Alexei Romanov, is ill. What's troubling him? Life is spilling out of him. The devil himself is tearing him apart from the inside, demanding blood. Poor child. But let's not be sad. This news is joyful, as a matter of fact. Because now we know where the source of the danger is. And I can help him. I will heal the heir. Just as I healed Victor, though he was bereft of hope. Isn't that true, friend? It's true. If not for Grigori, I wouldn't be among you anymore. I'd have lost my mind. But thanks to his miracles, I'm still here, and I can testify to that. I've helped you, just as you've helped us all. Thank you, friend. You can count on me. Admirable loyalty. Impressive. You gave us a chance. And as God as my witness, I won't waste it. Healing the Tsarevich means healing something much greater. The future. A future where each of us will receive equality and respect, regardless of who we are. Free from the afflictions of the body and the soul. Living in health and its resulting ecstasy. Finally, in a future in which we can do anything, but don't have to do anything. Offering unhindered freedom. to the Thaumaturge's health. I'd rather not wake up to sights like that. My head's about to explode. You didn't want Ligia to see you in such a state. In that case, it could have been one of my best decisions. Looking at the events of last night, may be the only right one. Time to get up, get yourself together, and uh, we'll talk later. Sleep is a waste of time. There you are, finally. What really happened? My memory is failing me. For those that sleep in the night are asleep, and those that drink are drunken. Unbelievable. 
Remember, no matter what happens, everything stays between us. I need your help. Again. And I won't turn you down again. Do you see anything? Ow! The next trickster? Yes, this one is worse. <laughs> well, yes. Don't worry. He thinks he's playing with us. It's just an illusion. <sighs> Come here. Enough joking around. It's you. How was jail? A place like any other. I helped Pilevin find the real murderer. I mean, murderess. He told me. How does freedom feel? Normal. The river giveth and the river taketh away. I see you're not interested in small talk. So let's pick up where we left off last time. rescued him when he wanted to end things, but you took advantage of his condition to feed on his floor. I think it's time for him to be rid of you. The river giveth and the river taketh away.
you for? No, this is not true. Not true, not true, not true. I'm too close. I've dealt with better ones than you. You're mine. What was that? What happened? The river giveth and the river taketh away. But never again. The river no longer flows through you. What? What do you mean? I rid you of the salutar that was tormenting your mind. I didn't ask you to. Is this why you were so bent on getting me out of jail? It was more about justice. Yeah, sure. Thanks. And now what? Something flipped in my head? What should I do? Whatever you like. It's all up to you now. Okay. Now I would like to clean up. I need to air the place because it reeks. Worse than the cell. That wasn't too hard. <laughs> the things people come up with. I haven't been here in a while. What do you want to tell me, friend? I'll be first. You'll see. Slow down. You'll get your clothes all dirty. That kid, it's me. My mother thought I'd lost my mind. So did Liga, I guess. And that, as we know, didn't happen until much later. I didn't remember that Abaurizzi was there too. He must have been. After all, he'd laughed at me later for wetting my pants. It was my birthday. Was it then that you chose me? Nothing can be kept secret from me. Let's wait. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time.
Do you have a moment? For you, always. This whole farce, the thank yous, what's it all for? What intentions do you have towards me? Intentions that we become friends and help one another and complement one another. I have skills that you don't and vice versa. I'm not hiding anything from you, Victor. This place looked different. The Nadarisk is the two. Everything is happening according to their will and with their blessing. People believe in you. Yesterday, I felt as though I was part of some kind of cult. People are everything, Victor. And we, we are almost like a family. Better, because we're joined by choice, not by blood. We're harbingers of the change that will soon take place. I'm only a guide lighting our way. If there's something still on your mind, speak up. Not all of them are as favorable to you as your hosts. The housekeeper quit. Well, Jesus had opponents too. And look how it worked out for him. You're aiming high. The highest. Anything else you want to share? All these people. You've gathered a colorful group. We all come from different environments. From different rungs on the ladder. And that's the most beautiful thing about this. What have you found out about them? How did you manage to convince the Tsarist officer to come to you? He came of his own accord. Like all of you. Lazarev has great potential. He's exceptionally eager. He senses that his country is sick. And he'd like to solve the problem. Is there more you need to know? Maria is calculated. She stays close because in you, she sees a chance for a better life. And what's wrong with that? I respect that. I don't demand that you all gaze upon me like a sacred icon. But loyalty? There are all sorts of ways a person can win that for themselves. Anything else? Magdalena still hasn't rid herself of her youthful naivete. I think she's honestly fallen in love with you. What are you surprised she has? Many a love has had such a beginning. She's a good girl. Let's not hold that against her. Aniela is unknowable, and Lucian is unhappy about the changes taking place in her. Aniela has completely given up her lust for my sake. She'd rather just pray and pray. I respect that greatly, but I must share my time with others. Do you think that Lucian is jealous about the time his wife devotes to me? It's possible. Don't worry about it. Keep talking and asking. Enough about these people. I'm at your service, Victor. Ask for what you want. I need your help. Again. And I won't turn you down again. Her sadness, heartbreakingly cold. How can we tame her? Stop fighting her. What? There's no need to resist. Go to her. Let me soothe this melancholy. Let it engulf you.
What do you want to tell me, friend? Victor, hurry. We'll be late for mass. I'm coming, mother. Victor, do you think that when you have a husband, you have to argue with him? I suppose so. I don't want a husband. You don't have to get one, but I'm worse off. Grazinka says that when I grow up, she'll find me a husband. I remember that. The last Sunday before Father stopped taking us to church. Because of me. I accidentally touched the priest's stone as he passed us with a sensor. That was the first time when I felt another person's thoughts, their intentions. I heard the words of someone's confession that the priest was thinking about. It was like they were directed at me. And I didn't falter to share them with the rest of the congregation. Mother didn't manage to stop me. And my indiscretion caused the prominent marriage to fall apart. My parents married not long after. What do you want to tell me, friend? You'll put me in an early grave. Duh, because it's always the woman's fault when a man starts getting certain notions. I'm the head of this family and I deserve respect. Father, can Abaurezi come with us to the sea? Out of the question. Holidays are to be spent with family, with loved ones. Not with servants. Listen, boy. You'll be the head of this family someday, and you have to understand that family is the one thing you can always rely on. Especially since you're a Tempermancer. Others will rob you, kill you, or even worse, ruin you. You should keep your friends close, but never behind your back. And your enemies you should keep even closer, next to your heart. Because only then will they not surprise you. Rarely did I see my father so furious. He thought that a trip to the once Polish Baltic Sea would improve his chilly relations with Mother. I really didn't want to go. I preferred to play with Abaurice in the streets of Praga. Mom wasn't disappointed that we stayed either. I didn't want to step on Father's toes again, so I asked Ligia to make a scene. Like she did when Grazinka tried sending her to bed, and she wanted to keep reading. I didn't even have to persuade her much. I wondered if it was the power of the twin bond, or if I manipulated her subconsciously back then. Now I know I couldn't do it without forming our pact, but if that's the case, what were you doing here?
What do you want to tell me, friend? And the teacher said, Victor, is the right here in the classroom with us right now? <laughs> I almost pissed myself. I love all you want, but I really can't see it. I can't help it. Victor, promise me that the whispers of these salutors of yours won't turn you into a cynic like your father. I promise, Mother. I'd rather not change at all, much less into Father. You'll see! My Oper will order you to eat your own brain! I'm telling Mom, all you temper turges are crazy. a lifetime. I remember there was someone else here. He wasn't happy. He thought I wasn't ready yet. Miss, maybe he was right. Delightful. A Kabbalist stem. So so. Is it offer capable of emotion? Are your offer and God don't get along so well? getting sore? Stupid question. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time.
Good day. And it can be even better. I'll quickly find whatever it is you need, sir. Well, I have heard that he has a reputation. What are your wishes? I should just tell you what I wish for. Don't be bashful. We're all friends here. Just name it, and I'll handle the rest. I want freedom. Miracles like this, I can do on the spot. What do you have free will for? You want something? Try it. If you don't try something, you'll regret it. Next time, make your wishes a little more material for me. You grant wishes like uh, gin? Gin? <laughs> Mister, I grant any number of wishes. Not some measly three or so. I've got gins eating out of my hand. And you can grant any wish? Yeah, I heard he brought a real Persian cat from Altsova. Now that's something. You know it. I have yet to have a customer come back dissatisfied. I was just browsing. Do come back now. Wishes won't grant themselves. of any new wishes but I know that you failed to fulfill one task one wish for a very important client well that's interesting oh that was a simple misunderstanding nothing to talk about right let's forget I said anything and here I thought something sensational would be said here Would you like to buy some flowers? They'll steal your heart. Have you perhaps noticed any unprecedented phenomena happening here? Here? Mister, there's a thousand and one of those happening every day. How about a flower? I'll have one. It will be perfect for a buttonhole. A desert daisy. It survives even in the harshest conditions. I didn't think you were such an expert on flowers. Rather on people. I can't help but feel that we've already met. Surely you're confusing me with someone else, sir. I know what I'm talking about. You left an identical flower on one of the stalls, and you were very happy about it. You got a beautiful porcelain plate in return. And earlier, you were looking at gold watches. Fearing the seller becoming suspicious, you gave up on one of them. Should I go on? Thaumaturge, I've heard a little something about you and your tricks. Want me to show you real magic? Help! Thief! Help! Stop. What are you up to, pickpocket? Stealing from flower girls? You scoundrel. You don't like breathing through a straight nose. Gentlemen, I didn't do anything this manipulator is accusing me of. Everyone says that. Well, maybe not quite in this way, but... And people lose their belongings. What about him, Yachim? After all, you're not angry with me. I'm not the one who isn't paying you. Your anger has a different source. Go to the source. Yahim, the truth is cruel. Unfortunately, the pickpocket is right. What's the use of tormenting some small fry when you know who this is about? Well, I wanted to tell you a long time ago. Only I was afraid that... Yahim, lad, I would never... Come on. 
We'll settle things with that scum in his office. As for you, you know what'll happen if you come here again, right? You understand? I'm already gone. Interesting. My thief was definitely here. Or could the djinn be deceiving me? Enough. Show yourself. Welcome to the watering hole, wanderer. Show the proper respect. Hello. My name's Victor. They call me Ali, and this is my well. Did you draw from it? I'm not looking for trouble. Then answer the question. I wish. It's unbearably hot. I'll let you, if you tell me what you're doing here. I was looking for someone here, but I didn't find them. At the zenith, in the desert, it's not hard to lose your way. Are you trying to lead me astray, like Jin? I meet desert spirits sometimes, but I don't walk in their paths. No mortal should. I'm just Ali. I'm following the trail of a particular thief, but so far she has eluded me. I know she passed this way. It sounds like she's one of the djinns. You weren't far off. Have you seen her? I've not only seen her, I also know her. And since you showed me respect at the watering hole, I'll tell you where to find her. Go south and find washerwomen working. Your thief lives among them. Your oasis is within reach. I'm talking to you, man. What? I asked why you're staring at this pump. Did you see a man near the watering hole? Near the pump, someone's always loitering around there. What's strange about it? Do you know Ali? Because there's not enough Ali's here in the Jewish quarters. I know at least five. No offense, but you look and sound like someone who's lost his marbles. You'd better go now. Be on your way. Let's try. Open sesame. How did you know the password, Ganef? I am a friend of your sister. She doesn't mix with Ganefs. Don't get in my way, understand? There's nothing for you here, posh boy!
funneled everything yet, Claude? Then get lost. Should I scrub your tongue out with soap? Who taught you such foul language? Your sister doesn't speak like this, that's for sure. We can't afford soap, you bourgeois bastard! Let's talk about your sister, and about you. I know her name is Layla. I'm not talking to Ganefs! I also like potato dumplings. Garnished with onions, browned in a hot pan. The kind your sister makes for you. Stop annoying me! I'll invite you both for some freshly kneaded dumplings, provided you tell me where Layla is. Don't lie to me, Ganef. That checkered blanket. You used to hide under it when your sister was arguing with your father, didn't you? And? I could feel how scared you were when she smuggled you in it through the Warsaw turnpikes. Yeah, right. A cracked window is nothing pleasant. Fall will come soon. Layla wants you to find a better place. If you don't tell me where she is, I won't be able to help you. All right, I'll tell you. As long as it gets you out of here. She's probably at the harem. It's a local brothel, not far from here. Just don't get any ideas. She doesn't work there. Thank you. Ganef. You try to deceive me, but it's not gonna happen. It'll be mine. How much can I get for this loot? We have a guest. Is it nice to eavesdrop like this? I was looking for her. We have things to talk about. My guess is that he didn't come to a brothel for a philosophical debate. Do you know each other? Something like that. If he pesters you, you know what to do. And you better behave yourself, or you'll scare away the girls. Is he your fence? Why, are you interested in him? Or maybe you're interested in me? I must have caught your eye. You could say that, sure. You have something I want. I'm not here to grant your wishes. Hey, you there! Yeah? Got a problem? My brave assistants will show you the door. Try not to resist too much. They don't like it. I will deal with them on the spot. And you, don't go anywhere.
I can feel. Well, what is it? Hello, sweet secret. I'm back. Like a bad dream. You are persistent. I'll give you that. How did you find me? As Ali would say, introductions come before all else. I hear you know each other. My name is Victor. I don't know any Ali. How did you find me? I've met your little brother. If he so much as lost a hair from his head, I'll gouge your eyes out. We just talked. He's fine and quite a character. It must run in the family just as I taught him. If it means I can get rid of you, say your piece. I'm not the only one following you. There's something else, a wild salutar. It's him that I find the most interesting about you. Do you know what a djinn is? Nothing beyond what my brother has read about him in his fairy tales. And it's this arrogant impudence that attracts him to you. I'm afraid it's an inborn trait. You showed some guts when you pulled yourself and your brother out of that place with neither hope nor prospects. I don't intend to confide in you. You're not going to sit here forever, are you? Stealing for Tweezer won't get you and your brother out of poverty. And what do you know about getting out of poverty, Mr. Bourgeoisie? You have a good deal going with Tweezer, correct? A business like any other, but I admit that I'm quite comfortable here. It's very profitable for him, too. He took you in when you first came to the city? Don't get any ideas. All he did was help me get back on my feet. If your arrangement works so well, why are you stealing from him? I know that you know the combination to Tweezer's safe. So that makes two of us, then. I keep my hands to myself and my mouth shut. I advise you to do the same. I'll look around here some more. Do what you want. Tell me, will my people be all right after all that? They'll live. I also told you to behave yourself. It's a nice place. Why call it harem? And why won't the Thaumaturge start answering questions instead of asking them? I wonder how it is with you lot in bed. What are those demons of yours up to then? On behalf of all Tempermancers, I must stress that this is carefully guarded knowledge. But you've intrigued me, sorcerer. Why Tweezer? Cause it appeals to the imagination. But I've also heard a few creative variations. I think I enjoyed Squeezer the most. Get it? I see. It's kind of funny. Were you here in May, during the pimp lynching? I was. I was. But I'm still here. Sadly, not everyone was as fortunate. 
Luck can also be helped, right? If one has, for example, a deal with the Ochranas provocateurs, it can make a lot of things easier. They say that luck favors those who manage on their own. I'm alive, and the girls have a place to work. Everyone is happy. So what if the hateful mob targets all magicians tomorrow? And the only rescue for you and your friends will be to make a deal with the Ohrana. Will you help your luck then, or will you complain? I don't know. I'm not in a similar situation. Based on what I hear on the street, I'd start considering such matters. What caused the lynching? No, no, kitty cat. The right question is why? However, no one knows this for sure. Some say it was anti-Semitic workers. Others say that it's provocation from the Ohrana because soldate are regulars here. Sometimes bad blood needs to be spilled to make the rabble docile again. I have some other questions. There are so many more pleasant things you could do here with that mouth. But ask. A lot happens here. It seems like an ordinary brothel, but it's managed rather creatively. Instead of putting your hands on things, maybe start putting them on beautiful ladies. Or gentlemen, the choice is yours. I don't know if touching anyone would tell me that Layla has been skimming from your safe. Layla! I'm busy. Busy getting into my safe? Says who? I know the combination. I know that you keep repeating it in your head when you're bored. Did you hear me? Mind your thoughts around this one, or he'll expose you for the deviant you are. This is no secret. The gold watch you lifted from the Dvor whispered to me that you're equally cautious when lifting banknotes from the safe. Not too much, either, so that no one catches on. You talk to watches? Maybe you're a snake charmer, too. Yes. Layla, pockets. Come on, is 1891 an important date? Pockets. No, and if you so much as touch me, I'll go to your Ohrana buddies and tell them that you're stealing from your clients, including their people. You little ingrate. Come to me. Her audacity certainly helped Layla and her brother tackle their fate. But it also led you down the path of transgression. Without it, you will cease to be the Jin's puppet.
Almost. Is... is it over? I don't feel particularly different. Except that I don't want to be here anymore. I have to go back to my brother. Will you be alright? Yes, I'm almost certain of that. Rest. You look awful. Good luck. Hey, you with the book! Tell them they can't keep us here against our will! Go back to the ward! I'm telling you for the last time, the examination's not over. Man, this is a prison state! Even quacks will lock you up! You better stay out of this. Take it from me. Is it all because patients won't get examined anymore? My friend felt under the weather, so we came. But look at him now! Sound as a bell! You came. They brought you on a cart, half dead. Probably after some kind of subversion. This is slander! It's better if they stay longer. For examination. You understand? These gentlemen had a moment of weakness, but I can see they're better now. Let them leave. Did you hear the man? We'll go then. What kind of underground solidarity is that? We'll put you all in solitary. such companions in hardship. Thanks. Where did you get savage like that? Why are you so curious? Give him a break. We owe him that much. We were outnumbered by the Ruskies. That's all you need to know. Let's go before you tell him the story of your life. People of Praga, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot do that. 
You're not going to tell us what we can and cannot do, Russian minion. This is our home. We won't have you bring Satan into our homes. What's the reason for this commotion? Have you been living under a rock? People's souls are at stake here. You bet. Ladies and gentlemen, the Praga district must and will get access to a modern sewage system. Everybody here knows this is nothing more than a Jewish plot to control upright citizens. Freemasonry. Everybody knows that. That's true. The same goes for electricity. Or the suffragettes. Suffra what? What are you doing? Don't pour gas on that fire. Shut up, paper pusher. Don't be so smart. A magician rubbing shoulders with commoners. No way. I know dark practices, and I know that's where your misery comes from, brothers and sisters. Down with progress. May the common cold still kill, and may women stay at home instead of going to election rallies. Well, no. I think you're going too far. So that's what you want, you maggot. To keep us gentle as a lamb, you wish. Man, lay down those sewers quickly, or the rabble will bring us down. Your methods might be unorthodox, but it's the effect that counts, right? Thank you. Let it be a lesson. People don't need coercion, but education and discussion. I haven't seen you here before, young man. You look exhausted. What brings you here? I like religious buildings. There's something healing about them. Why do you think that is? The atmosphere, but also the special silence that pervades this place. That's why I like going to the Basilica of Sacre Coeur. Actually, the houses of worship of all religions have something of a similar feature. The Buddhist Pailin Temple in Peking, or the Shah Mosque in Isfahan. God made the world as diverse as he did to make us travel it and get to know it. I sense you have doubts, questions, so ask. You're an exorcist, aren't you? I've heard you regularly drive Satan out of people here. Yes, it's true. Does it often work? If the flame of Doubting Thomas flickers inside you, you can soon witness the miracle of exorcism with your own eyes. Is there anything else I can help you with? Do you really believe that nonsense, Father? That demons dwell inside people? Is that calculation? Or... habit? I think we aren't so different from one another. I don't question the existence of your demons, Thaumaturge. I had to ask. Is there still something troubling you? What is the Church's position on Thaumaturgy? That's a fairly difficult subject. There is hope for all, even for those who live in great sin. 
So, in your opinion, Father, being a Thaumaturge is a sin? It's not up to me to say what's a sin and what isn't. But there's hope for everyone, young man. You get some peculiar guests here, Father. There is room in God's house for everyone. It's no secret that Sarina Alexandra is particularly God-fearing. Do you know her well? As well as a confessor can. So, quite well. If you're looking for gossip about Her Imperial Majesty, you've come to the wrong place. There are plenty of people at Rozhitsky Bazaar eager for such chit-chat. Unless I can help you with something else. Do you know Grigory Rasputin, Father? He also visited this place not long ago. Rasputin? I haven't seen him here, but yes, I know him. And I remember him well. It's impossible to forget someone like that. How do you know one another? From back in Petersburg, he was looking for protection, posing as a great preacher. But I was suspicious of him. He was nothing more than an ordinary charlatan. Just talking about that man sullies the palate with sin. Why do you ask about him? No reason. I feel as though this is not an accidental meeting. I'll be off. I'm sure you have more urgent matters to attend to, Father. I'll be here if you want to talk. And remember, darkness does not exist without light. If your demons are real, then so is God who cursed them. Sweet secret. Do you have a moment? For you, always. I need your help. Again. And I won't turn you down again. Where did you find that salutor? In the Sahara? It's a gem. A master of wishes in his own form. Quickly, Victor, before he buries us both. Focus on your wish. Extraordinary. He doesn't threaten you anymore. Your wish is his command.
Tell me what brings you here. I'm looking for a particular man. He's a doctor and a thaumaturge. He treats people with rather radical views. Who do you mean? Us? Correct me if I'm wrong. Diplomatic. I'm sorry. We don't betray our comrades to anyone who asks. So you do know one another after all. Who knows? How about this? I won't ask for anything else, but please, pass something on to him from me. Are you praying to an onion? Hush. What should I pass on to this doctor? Not bad. Not bad at all. Done. What can he make out of that? Cough syrup? Just pass it on to him. He'll know. You're peculiar. Anything else? I'll be off now. If I get an answer from the doctor, I'll let you know. Look after yourself. Hello, sweet secret. There's one staken. What? Bullshit, magician. Don't throw your weight around, or we'll take you to people who'll burn you at the stake. I heard they're gathering wood already. I got it. You go, gentlemen. I'll take a walk. The magician knows his place. See how he drew in his horse? He knows what's coming. He's not so tough now.
Well, there we have it. Secrets, not on my watch. The plan is simple. Bashka has a stand around the corner where she sells moonshine. You've got the money, I've got the will, everything fits. The evening is set. You're a real strategist, brother. Then, the bald guy looks to his left, looks to his right, and POOM smacks the cop right in the face! <laughs> Calm down, don't go hitting me now. Has anyone ever told you that you get overly excited about certain things? Name? Shulski. From those Shulskis? Well, well, your daddy will be happy. Just like my daddy when he hears that I've been leading little Victor down the wrong path again. Shut your mouth, punk, or my deputy will put a precautionary bullet in your right butt cheek. About who wanted to show me his father's stall. He picked a bad moment. I didn't need thaumaturgy to feel his shame at that moment. We can go. Now I'm ashamed of what I felt back then. I felt superior. What do you want to tell me, friend? Victor! My old man will kill me when he finds out this was our doing! Don't go yellow on me now, brother. First off, it wasn't our doing, it was mine. Second, keep a lookout if anybody's coming. I have to focus. Setemin's a prick. Look, it's so pretty. You've made the eye a little crooked. Victor, get it through your fucking head. I don't give a fuck about the Shulsky family money. This is a matter of my pops and my honor. All right already, calm down. I have a different plan. What plan? Because if Satanisov is involved, I'm out! Calm down, it's not like that, but we have to get into his office.
I don't want to see it. We didn't realize what we were doing. We were still children. Mieszko Setsemin was a scoundrel. He ruined many people's lives. This is my pride. The same you clung to, barely discovered, but it was what pushed me into it. It got the better of me at the time. Are we all like that? Is every thaumaturge enslaved by the floor? I was tormented by guilt for a long time. But eventually, that event made me who I am today. Didn't it? Mr. Shulsky, come in. What's new? I've got some fresh ideas for you. I see what it is you are getting at, but the collection still seems to have some missing pieces. Please, keep looking. We need bold concepts, unusual combinations. I'm counting on you. Meanwhile, I shall attend to my work. Please, excuse me. I won't bother you. All right. That wasn't too hard. Where do you think you're going, pretty boy? I'm looking for someone. They say he's got a business here. Do the smart thing and hit the road. Go on, fuck off. You talk just like the friend I'm looking for. I'm asking you nicely, Capisce. Bid it. Am I wrong, or are you guarding a closed butcher store? This is Ariel Rofa's Geschäft, right? I'll check you the hell out in a minute, and we'll be done. I'm looking for Ariel Rofa. Then you can double fuck off, you fucking dunkop! You'll attract more attention with that shouting. Pause oh, for I get my club. You are not gonna tell me how to do my job, you flip it and raggedy sort. Beat it. I swear, I know this is Ariel's hideout. Know how to read? It says butcher's shop. Sure, 
It's extra kosher because there's no meat at all in there. Come on, every bum at Ruzic reeks of booze from this place. And when they come here, I'll tell them to fuck off. But I know Ion's got his hideout here. I even know which copper's hands he greases. I don't know about no bribes, you provo... provocator... Prov <clears throat> provocator? Fuck off. Please, I just want a word with Ariel. Ogres, how come he's still standing here mouthing off at you? It's me, Victor. Shulski, I remember. Fuck off. So, should I give him what for, boss? Do what you want. Ariel, I've already taken one beating to find you. Boss, if I beat the bejesus out of him, will you take me to the dungeon? Then I'll make you into a second barstick. But Ogras, maybe don't take on the son of Shrut Miestia on your own, yeah? I'll call you a priest if you want. Leave him be. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, Shilsky. Let's get out of sight. But if anything starts shaking, I'll shoot you. Don't stare. That way. This whole butcher's shop is a cover, right? None of your business. Got a problem? Take a seat. Sit down. Tell me why you're bothering me. And how exactly did you find me? A very inventive hiding spot. And a nice place. We've got our own little store here with different varieties. I'm just doing my best to unload it efficiently. Don't waste my time. It wasn't such a huge challenge. Who squealed? I found a certain attic where one thaumaturge set up a warm nest for himself. Ogoras! Hey, calm down. I won't tell anybody anything. All your secrets are safe with me. You're on the thinnest ice you ever walked on. Say what you want. Why do they call that Bruza Oguras? He's got a green pecker from untreated pox with these little bumps like on those little cocktail gherkins. I hope he gets well soon. I'll pass that on. That everything? I've got a certain problem and I'd like to get rid of it quickly. 
Is it made of clay and weighs two tons when it shows up? So you got sick of running back and forth across Kervich Bridge? I'm not going to pretend I understand. Golems aren't great at swimming, remember? Since it's following you, going across a bridge would force it to... Forget it. I can see why you can't deal with it on your own. I need the knowledge of a Kabbalist. Your knowledge. I think I have at least a few reasons to say no, don't I? The main one is the death of my business partner and best friend. My sympathies about Javier. Really, he didn't deserve it. But I didn't deserve a golem either. A faithful friend. And a quick healer. I know you cared a lot for him. Oh, right. You broke into my house. If you ever stick your nose into my private business again, I'll cut it off. You got it? I don't have time, Ariel. We both know that only you can help me. You can keep tormenting me, but are you going to tell me something or not? I can torment you and tell you. A golem is a salutor like any other, but housed in a physical form. Why do you attract it and bind it in the same way? So you need to discern the flaw of the person it's following, and then defeat it. Well done. The difference being that it's following blood first and the flaw second. But first you have to deprive the golem of its physical body. The shell in which the Salutor is housed. You also need to know where the ritual was conducted, because that's the only place you can do it. Good luck. So, apart from my family's blood, the Golem is attracted to my initial flaw, right? Initial? So how many have you got? I meant the one and only flaw that reveals itself in youth. And what Salutor latched onto it? The Golden Duck of Warsaw? Very funny. I know the place the Golem was summoned. The basement of Nozick Synagogue. So, Sofer managed to do it? How can I get rid of that clay shell it has? You can't. For that, you need a Kabbalist. Moi. I know the incantation for the Barur ritual. What? Instructions for reversing the evil eye, cleansing body and soul, and hiding from the unwanted, but why should I explain them to you? I'm guessing this will cost me something. Money? A favor? A further humiliation? We'll see. Thank you. So we're going into the basement of a synagogue, where you'll use Kabbalah to strip the golem of its physical form, right? Then I'll bind it and free myself from its curse? Not quite. The golem is mine. What do you need the golem for? None of your business. You want a revenge. That's very sentimental, if you think about it. I won't warn you again. Keep your nose out. Over my dead body. Very possibly. That's not such a bad price for relative peace. And you'll never hear me say, fuck off, again. And what about my flaw? If I lose my initial flaw, I'll lose contact with my initial salutor, right? Could be yes, could be no. I don't know. Want to find out? No. Unless you've got a long line of relatives with flaws? Just me. Too bad. Actually, I have a twin. An unexpected development. Does she carry a flaw? I don't know. 
So, find out. Let's wrap this up. We've got a deal. Ah. A toast? A very successful batch. We haven't shipped everything out yet. This won't make me go blind, will it? The risk is part of the fun. L'chaim. I couldn't have said it better myself. Ready. Let's get this over with. Godspeed. Find that flaw of Ligia's. I saw what the clay did at the harbor. But that's... Old Sofer impressed me. Summoning a golem under the noses of the whole community. You ready? I will be once you show up with your sister. This is when you go get her. How do you get rid of the golem's physical form? There's an old ritual. It's called the bell. It's a sifting ritual. The incantation allows us to sift out the demonic part from the rest of the creature. It also helps with cases of possession. Good to know. By the way, your father must have really gotten under Sofa's skin. My father had that effect on people. This ritual, are you sure it's safe? Just trust me, as I trust you'll keep your word. I won't touch a hair on your sister's head. Now go get her! I'll go fetch Nigia. Get a move on! Rabbi? You almost made me take Hashem's name in vain! I didn't mean to scare you. Today, we are ending the curse of the Golem. I know. Rofei, that heathen, told me to bring some candles and chalk downstairs. Now, it's not just the roof that's falling in, but all the heavens. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'm listening. I'll be off now. I'll pray for you. You seem happy. What's going on? Saturday. That's what's going on. I'm pretty sure today's not Saturday. Live your life like every day was Saturday. 
Listen, we've got a job coming our way, just like in the good old days. You, me, and beating up some thugs. Interested? I know you are. Tell me, what kind of action have you got coming up? There's this guy, Kafar, from Ruzhets. The bastard thinks he can mess with the left bank. He and his people seized one of mine, Max. Said he owed them. He got away, but there's still bad blood. I thought I might explain a thing or two to Kafar. So, shall we go there? Why don't the shivs deal with it? You offer an adventure to strengthen the bond in good faith, and this is how he treats you. I love my boys, and don't tell them that, but you've got to be nifty here and know some magic. Come to Ruzitz with me. No need to think about it. Taking on some bizarre thug sounds like a challenge. And since when do you shy away from a challenge? Do as you like. I'm here about Kafar from the bazaar. Finally! So we're going for a slugfest? You have my grimoire. Yes! That's what I like to hear. Come on, let's show Kafar we mean business. I won't have anyone going after my people for some imaginary debts. Look how beautiful it is. The babble of fishwives, the cursing of longshoremen, and there, marshmallows are being cut on a chopping block. Oh, and there my dad used to have a stall. Well, never mind. Where do we find that wise guy? There, in a shack in the southeast. His people usually stand by the entrance. Let's go then. But you go with the ships and lock Ruzitz so that Kafar knows this is serious. And so that none of those bastards get away. I can't let you stick your neck out for me, boss. Not just me. It won't be the first time we beat on some knaves with Victor. What exactly did that Kafar do to you? He's threatening to send his people to hurt my daughter if I don't give him back his money. I won the money fair and square, in a game of cards. But Kafar claims he was drunk, and I took advantage of that. Don't worry. We'll sort him out for good. Go on, close the gates. On it, boss. Today, my dear Victor, we will embark on a sentimental journey. A long, long time ago in the Mermaid City lived a brute, the leader of 40 thieves, grafters, keeping order at Ruzitz. Let me guess, we are the righteous warriors who will teach him a lesson. Right? You know it. We are some helpful bastards, aren't we? You seem to be in awfully good mood. Well, sure. It's just like the old days, isn't it? You and me against the world. Old pals pledge their loyalty, their voices like a sling projectile. Besides, the Ruzitz lads are really fun to smack around. Oh, wait. Speak of the devil. Here they are. Let the fun begin. What do you think you're doing? Closing the gates, kicking up a shindy? You shouldn't show up here, Nijits. Yes, I know. You're intimidated by the sight of an intellectual. But it's time to write the first chapter of today's tale on these ruddy mugs. I will call it The Pilgrim and the Poet King.
Oh, Vita, that was truly exquisite. Can you smell the aroma of Madeleine wafting through the air? When he smacked the tallest one, I almost shed a tear. And this is just chapter one. Time for chapter two? Sure thing. And we can do anything we want in it. It just has to end with us paying Kafar a visit. After all, I'm on official business here. This is our time, Victor. And time is like a little fartridge, running fast as fuck. We need to take advantage of that. Follow me. One scum queen awaits in a tower. Lead the way. Hold on, scumbags! I'm talking to you! What did we do to deserve that kind of treatment from the authorities? Authorities? What authority? He's just the corrupt copper. You must have a death wish, you lice-ridden mongrel! Lovely. Another one to be made into mincemeat. Let's go, Victor. Although, upon careful consideration, the process won't help much in this case. Oi! Let me just... Get out of here, bastards! Unfortunately, that's impossible. You see, my friend and I have embarked on a sentimental journey. That's right. It takes us to our old stamping grounds. And we're having fun, just like we did in our childhood days. That crap makes my ears bleed. Let's not waste words, Victor. It's time to do the laundry. Chapter 2, The Pilgrim and the Poet Saw. Something here. There's something odd nearby. Joshing for? Nijits, this ain't your turf. Why the hell did you come here raising a stink? Get out of our way, Plebeian. Wait, about it. Take a look at him. Doesn't he look like. Samson the Thug! The same beady eyes are straying in search of reason. What did you say? You look like a hothead from way back who stood in our way. Shall we do the same as we did with the other one? I think I'm out of inspiration. So let me just say that you look like somebody who got dropped on his head as a child at least once. I'll get you for this.
Scuff out of you, fucker. Nyejits, you snitch. You always drop in unannounced. Did you hear that? A loan shark calls me a snitch, the scumbag. Next time, I'll send you a note. I want you to stay the fuck away from my people, especially Max. And what are you going to do? I've got a reputation here. You'd best shut your trap and bark up a different tree. He's going to get his trap smacked. Let's get him. So what's your version of the story? Who cares? I didn't take you to have a conversation with him. The darkest place is under the candle. Your Max nicked something important from me to sell it himself. Sugar? How? Never mind. Yeah. Max wanted to sell right under Nejit's nose. By getting square with him, I'm doing you a favor. Shut your trap! Victor, I'm getting impatient. Listen, maybe this time we can use our heads. As it happens, Kafar has a small intoxicating secret. What do you mean? We're not going to shoot the scumbag. Then our sentimental journey won't be complete, and I will have to rewrite the final chapter. Kafar is afraid that his sugar smuggling will be exposed. He does it behind the manager's back. You've really impressed me now, Victor. Well, magic bitch. You're not so tough now, are you? And who's going to believe you, fancy boy? Get out of here. So how about we fuck him up? Fine, let's try your way. Like in the good old days. Aren't you a jumpy little rooster? You've got nothing on me. And Max has got to give me what he owes. All right, have it your way. Victor and I will be going now. Really? Fuck no! And now say goodbye to your teeth, darling. Chapter 3. The Pilgrim and the Poet Conquered.
just get the fuck out. Yeah, I bet you will. Victor, give me Satanisov's gun. There. Let the story come full circle. Say hello to Setsemin in hell. Who? <laughs> Look, Kafar left us some Aquavita. Then get it and let's get out of here. Let's go. We've earned ourselves a high-grade epilogue. Well, this is what I call a happy ending. We beat up a few thugs, and we taught them a lesson. Well, if that was an evil deed, then the Tsarist government would have arranged war so differently. The Lone Shark is defeated, and justice prevails eventually. What a grand time. I had a ball. How about you? Likewise. Y you better tell me why it was my dad who swung for it, not us. Honestly. We came back, Satanyiswav took you into his office for questioning, and then what? Father never raised his voice. I wished he had screamed and been mad at the time, but all he did was talk. From time to time, Balberit would show up and look at me. I thought I would die that day. Then I heard your father would answer for the lone shark's death, and... You and I would get away with it. Stanislav told me to pack and take this gun with me. To remind me that it wasn't just a lone shark who lost his life that day. Right. My dad would run in jail and yours had to sell antiques. You don't know everything. My father was forced to let one rat inside his home. Ivan Konechkin. No shit! Satanisov snitched to the Ochrana? That's tough. Do you think your old man was right to expel you? Now I understand that he mostly wanted to protect me and Nigia. There was nothing I could do about the choice he made. Fuck. He made a choice for me and my dad, too. Do you think your father would rather have had you go to jail? No. No. I can see what you mean. Even a bastard like Satanisov would protect his children at any cost. Never mind. Each of us had his share of suffering. And now, we're here drinking vodka as winners. Kings of life, lords of death. I have to admit that this is some quality vodka. Agreed. It burns the throat like the urge to sing sonnets. It hits the head like... inspiration. Tastes like Ruzitska. You know, the booze from the butcher's shop. I know, so it's kosher. So is this the last page of our story? No way. To be continued. And everyone in Warsaw is emptying their wallets because they have to know how all this ruckus will end. Victor, what do you think about me? Really? Why do you ask all of a sudden? Stop hedging, you're pissing me off. I think you're my friend. What? You still trust me even after I had you kidnapped? Are you an idiot? I'm kidding. I'd follow you into a fire, brother. But don't tell it to my lads or they'll get jealous. But enough talking for now. Let's drink. To friendship, Victor. To being squared up.
Do you live around here, miss? Do you live around here, miss? I won't be long. I'm just here to see Mr. Shulsky. Mr. Shulsky didn't tell me he knew such ladies. Mr. Shulsky didn't tell me he knew such ladies. Oh, please, stop. Do you live around here, miss? Well, look here, miss. Speak of the devil. Mr. Shulsky. The young lady was telling me about you. I had no idea you could do such things. You never told me you could do spells and such. Shall I bring you some tea? What is it that Mr. Tsiria told you about me? How you conjured up a stolen book and the impression it made. Apparently, it's all anyone can talk about these days. We simply cannot wait for the next performance. So, what about that tea? No, Grzynka, thank you. Cecilia won't be staying long. I see. You're breaking my heart, sir. To what do I owe this unannounced visit? You're not even trying to hide the fact that I've come at the bad time. So be it. I'll endure it. Dickstein asked me to contact you regarding a certain matter. Well, all right. Maybe it was me who asked him. The university has been operating in secrecy for years and suddenly one of ours was arrested. It seems suspicious to me, as if someone betrayed him. I figured that nobody would solve this case faster than a Talmadurge. Does this mean you would like me to find the traitor? All I ask is that you go to Dickstein's. Should I be concerned for my sister's safety? She's a frequent speaker and she aids us financially. If the arrests don't cease, someone will eventually betray us. So, I'd say yes. We're all in danger. I'll handle it. I'll go to Dickstein's as soon as possible. Thank you. Here's his business card. I won't take up any more of your time. Although, I'll admit I wouldn't mind wasting some of mine in your company. Goodbye, young lady. See you. She arrived and was gone in a flash. Didn't even stay for tea. I hope I didn't make some kind of gaffe by letting the young lady in. No, no. Everything is fine, Grzynka. She had such kind eyes, and she was giving you a rather telling look, too. I'm not implying anything. Thank you, Grzynka. Mr. Shulsky, thank you for coming. Maybe you should check who's calling. Then we'll be able to talk uninterrupted. Yes, of course. Please make yourself comfortable. I'll be back shortly. Don't look at me like that. 
After all, Dickstein himself wants me to discover everything, right? Yes, Wojtek is brave. But the thing is, he might be too brave. No, I don't know anything. I don't even have anyone I could ask. Yes, I miss you. But caution comes first. How are your parents? You always say that, and then your hands get cold. Hold on. Did you say something to me? No, no, I was just talking to myself. Nice apartment. Uh, thank you. Please wait until I'm finished. Of course. Now that you're comfortable and all ears, I think we can begin. As you already know, recently one of my students was arrested. I think your help will be invaluable. The phone call you received, was it anyone important? First of all, it was a private conversation. It was my wife, if you must know. I understand that I must answer more uncomfortable questions. How can I help? I'm afraid that the arrest of this boy threatens the continued operation of the Flying University. You're afraid he might simply give you up? I have also heard that some students have begun to accuse each other of working with the Ochrana. It's very destructive. Who's the arrested student? Valdemar, a very talented arithmetician. I feel bad for him. A locksmith's son. So, he should manage in jail. Yes. But what scares me most is the atmosphere of distrust that has set in. Of suspicion. A witch hunt. In order for the meetings to continue, I need to know if someone has actually betrayed us. The venue of our next lecture can also be considered compromised. You're trying to legalize the university, aren't you? Even if it means it will be controlled by the Russians. I don't see any other way for us. We can't hide forever. And the Russians, they're here now, and I'm thinking about the future. However, we can't do it without your help. Do you like to play solitaire? What makes you ask that? You're not a gambling man, but your cards appear used. Oh, the cards? Yes, well... I know Polina left them here. Cards also involve math. I use them to explain probability calculus. You teach your students how to count cards? Trust me, this has no relation to our case. Is she the one the students suspect of being an Ochrana spy? Because she's Russian? Regrettably, we live in such xenophobic times, but I don't harbor even the slightest suspicion against her. Actually, I would like you to definitively eliminate her as a suspect. Preferably without her finding out. It seems you look after Polina more than the rest of the female students. I don't expect you to understand all my motivations. I only need your help with the mole matter. If you're able to handle it safely and discreetly for all involved, I shall be very much obliged. I'm nosy by nature. Please excuse me. We'll round up all suspects in one place. 
Next, we'll say that I'm there because of a thaumaturgical lecture that you yourselves have requested. Good idea. The question is, where? I think it's time for me to reciprocate with an invitation to my house. I only need to ask my sister first. Wonderful. Thank you. I think we can conclude our meeting. Thank you. You're of great help to me. I'll let you know when we're ready. And please be careful. There's been some commotion in front of the tenement house again. Sometimes I don't know if they're coming for me already or if the time hasn't come yet. Of course. Goodbye. Now, Victor, I don't have time. We have to talk about the Golem. I know how to stop it now. You know what to do? Tell me. Do you trust me, sister? I trust you. And I'm glad that you're here with me. Even if uh, it's not always easy. Do you know what a flaw is? Kind of, but Papa didn't tell me too much about his abilities. A flaw is a hidden stamp that sometimes defines our behavior or even our lives. It's formed in the subconscious and centers around the things that matter most to us. It might be the memory of something tragic or shocking from the past, or something that takes us over completely, obsessively. If you were to tell me the one thing in your life that matters most, what would it be? Where's this coming from? My family. And you, so of course. Mm -hmm. Now, seriously this time. All right, I'm sorry, I'm putting you second. Work comes first. I want to work, hard and honestly, and I want to be respected for it not have fingers pointed at me. And so it will be. I don't doubt you've got that certain something inside you. Hmm. I can see you've got some kind of flaw after all. I think it's one related to obsessive tenacity or pathological ambition. Should I be offended or afraid? Can I get rid of it? Yes, don't worry. But that's business for later. Nothing will happen to you. You're the thaumaturge here. All right, so what now? I found out that you can only call off a golem in the place where it was made. It was summoned in the synagogue. How do you know that? Father's former sales clerk led me there. Hayat? How did he know? Don't tell me he had something to do with this. Well, he begged the previous rabbi to send the golem after Father. He did it out of revenge for the disappearance of a certain Horowitz. The pharmacist? What exactly is Hayat accusing Papa of? Of killing him? Yes, it looks that way. I'm not going to get into details, all right? There's no need. But I'm going to send Hayat's laundry up in smoke, all right? All right, Lady Macbeth. She got others to do her work. I don't mind getting my hands dirty. If, of course, the family business is threatened. 
I need you. We must end it. Together. You sound serious. What's going on? Today, the curse placed on Father will lose its power. But we have to get going. Are we going down into the synagogue basement? Ariel Rofer is already waiting for us. He's the one leading this whole thing. Do I know him? I sincerely hope not. He's not a suitable companion for you. Oh, now I'm dying of curiosity. There's no time. <laughs> How exciting! I, I feel ten years old again. Darling sister, here in person, you clearly are of the same blood. We have nearly everything ready, I see. I don't think we've met. Ligia Szulska. Ariel Rofe. The pleasure is mine. Mr. Rofe, this is everything I've been able to find. The candles are placed where you commanded. Fine. And you must be dear Ligia Shulska. My regards. The mademoiselle looks pale. Do you feel all right, my lady? Yes. Sure. Victor, I need a pound of flesh, and it's up to you whose body it comes from. Victor, what's going on? What's he talking about? To lure the golem, we need your mature flaw. Am I the bait? I could have phrased it better. The point is that only you, with your flaw, can lure the golem here. Will I lose my flaw in the process? Well, that's linked with aspirations, chasing something. Ambition, even to an excessive degree. And yes, you will lose it. Fine. Get that flaw out of me. May I ask why you don't want to? Based on what you explained to me about flaws, I consider it an imperfection. And I'm a perfectionist, Victor. Enough chit-chat. Since everything's ready, let's get to work. Let's begin. Don't mess this up. I'll do my best. Won't it come? Patience? Take her flaw, you get rid of the golem, and we're quits. I've reconsidered our deal, Maria. What?
So threatening now, are you? Uh, even Ganaths have more honor. Fuck off. No one is allowed to hurt my sister. Fuck off! Enough! Stop! Both of you! Not here! You're lucky, Sholsky. That's enough, Mr. Rofer. You'll be looking over your shoulder for the rest of your life. Let's get your sister to a safe place. I'll call a carriage. What happened? How did I get here? Feldman helped me bring you here. He just left. He told me to say hello. That was kind of him. What about the golem? That can wait. Rest now. You didn't answer the question. Now we're safe from the curse of Satanisław. The golem is mine now. And what about my flock? Nothing. I didn't want to take the chance that without the flaw you'd become someone else. We are joined by blood and we both carry flaws. It didn't matter to the golem. So why did you bring me to the synagogue? What was that for? The truth is that it was your flaw that the offer was supposed to use to catch the golem. That was a mistake. I'm sorry. I almost died of fear because of you. And I sound sorry, don't I? There will be consequences. Ariel Rofa doesn't seem like someone who easily forgets. How do you feel? Like before. But more so. I need to sign all the sureties and tackle the shelf of ointments in Mirov. What about you? For the moment... I'm okay. We're safe, since I've got the golem. I hope you know what you're saying. I have to go. I think you should rest. Nonsense. I, I don't have time for this. Victor? Hmm? I think Papa would have been proud of you. Mr. Shulsky, there's a young lady to see you. I'll serve tea in the drawing room. I won't stay long. There's no need. Thank you, Grazinka. A nice house, a spot of tea, a housekeeper. When the revolution comes, everything here will go up in smoke. Over my dead body. This house is my heritage. I'm teasing. Did he say anything? You know what? He confirmed my belief that thaumaturges are freaks. Thank you, Vanda. I'm glad I could help. I've got an appointment with Michal. See you. Sooner than you think. Will the young lady be visiting us more often? It's not like that. Don't let your imagination run away with you, Grazinka. Oh, right. I'm 
glad you're here. There's something I wish to discuss with you. You seem excited. Let's hear it then. I'd like for the Flying University's next meeting to be held here. What brought on this sudden interest in education in you? Dickstein asked for my help with a certain matter. He suspects that there might be an Ochrana informer among you. I told Dickstein this would happen. And when they arrested that boy, I was sure of it. You agree then, I take it? Of course. What do you want to do? I need you to organize it so as not to arouse anyone's suspicion. I want to gather all the students in one place and discreetly examine them. The Mo won't even know I've exposed them. Just say when. I let you know when I'm ready. Do you have a moment? For you, always. I need your help. Again. And I won't turn you down again. See? This is your inevitable, cruel pain. Escape it, nor hide from it. I don't want to die. It's not up to you. Sometimes you have to accept the blow. Now, give him the command. Obey me. There's no need to wait. Are you ready? Let's handle this quickly. Do you think you'll be able to assemble everyone now? Yes, and you will have a moment to prepare. What do you mean? I mean, you should look inside your wardrobe and pick more suitable attire. If I come in disguise, someone may begin to, well, suspect something. I thought as much. Let us now look for some things I could talk to the students about.
I have a few skeletons in my closet. Mr. Victor, I'm sorry, I couldn't not look in here. I am in awe of this entire house. And what have you found to be most to your liking here, miss? I don't think I could pick just one thing. I think what fascinates me the most is that every mundane object can have a second highly magical purpose concealed just beneath the surface. That's true. I wanted to discuss it during the lecture. I can hardly wait. Have you been to other rooms as well, miss? What do you mean? Someone snooped around my bedroom. Are you up to something with a mysterious partner again? Mr. Shulsky, I resent that. I didn't come into anyone's bedroom. Who do you think I am? I'll wait downstairs. I don't want anyone to misconstrue this situation as inappropriate. Yes, sir. And he walked across the entire town like that, with all that cocoa. And here he is. I hear you were quite the mischievous youth. I'm afraid the list of my offenses might be too long. Grazinka, should I be worried? Why, of course not. No, we were just discussing childhood mischief and the cocoa incident. Yes, I can't deny that one. Do you have other interests than cocoa and thaumaturgy? Travel? Cards? I'm sure Grazenka will tell you everything. All your secrets are safe with me, young master. In that case, I won't keep you any longer. See you in the lecture. Now this place on top of everything. Someday it will be enough to stick one foot out the door to get locked up. And we all know who will get us locked up. Hello. It's our professor for the day. Hello, sir. Is that so? Who was this vigorous discussion about then? About Polina Nikolaevna? Indeed. It's probably our little Russian girl who's making all this trouble for us. I don't know why Dickstein doesn't see that. To me, it's obvious that she's the snitch. Do you have anything to support such accusations? It's obvious, isn't it? It's the Russian girl. Why are you not suspicious of your friend who was arrested? His father fought in the uprising. He wouldn't snitch. Place of birth is hardly enough to determine whether someone is a traitor and a snitch. Wouldn't you agree? And someone with your skills should already know everything. Wouldn't you agree? All in good time. Have a nice lecture. Break a leg. Hello. Mr. Shulsky, one friendly face in a crowd. You are giving today's lecture, right? You seem troubled, miss. Is everything all right? Besides the finger-pointing and backbiting, you mean? 
Quite all right, yes. Quite. You do realize that your ancestry doesn't make you popular with the students? It's hard not to feel it. They don't exactly hide their dislike. I think I can sympathize. I'm half Russian, but I'm also a thaumaturge. How do you cope with it? I try not to think about it, with varying degrees of success. And thaumaturges read minds? Indeed. Yes, well, I'm waiting. Please excuse me, I'll take my leave. I hope you enjoy today's lecture, miss. Uvidimsia. I'm happy to see you, Mr. Schulski. I'm sure the lecture will be a success. Unmarried, perhaps. However, if I were you, I would make myself more presentable. I would never expect to see such crowds in this house. That's true. A nice change. The students will not miss such an opportunity. It's not every day that one gets to listen to a taumaturge. Regarding the lecture... Can we start? I think we can begin. I trust that you have planned everything well. I'll take care of everything. Have a pleasant lecture. Samuel, I assure you, you will not be disappointed. I'm certain that this will be an exceptional meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment I know many of you have been anxiously awaiting has finally arrived. Owing to the courtesy of both hosts of today's meeting, we have a unique opportunity to touch the knowledge from the borderline between science and magic. Viktor Sulski, if you would. Before we begin, do you have any questions for me? What are these items? What are they used for? I think we all know what a calm is used for. I think we should start with what you think thaumaturgy is. Here, we have three apparently ordinary items. However, there's more to each of them than you might think. This mask was made more than a thousand years ago. My father brought it from Africa in 89. However, you can see that the deity it depicts has many similarities to the Slavic salutar, Veles. Are you saying that people can see salutars? Supposedly, people who are very sensitive, spiritual, or well inebriated can experience the presence of a salutar, as long as one is around. Well, the lecture is over. Let's go to the London Bar and summon some demons. Where do solitaires come from? No one knows. This particular question remains unanswered. How convenient. We know that these beings have always been with us. Just like the people who were granted the power. We coexist, but we do not know what rules govern this coexistence. Let us move on to the other items. On my father's comb, apart from the dandruff... Disgusting. There's also a memory which I can easily read. This particular one concerns father's frustration caused by his developing baldness. And do we have any influence on what exactly will remain on the item? Let us not get ahead of the facts. I will cover it more extensively in a moment. In that case, do you also talk to the dead? No. No one can talk to the dead. If they claim otherwise, they're after your money. Contact with the salutars is enough for me. Let us move on. I would like to remind you that time is... Can we see a practical demonstration? This book was written in 1666. 
It was published solely to provoke a fear of thaumaturges. In the Middle Ages, people like me were burned at the stake and condemned for heresy. Judging from the new governor general, history is about to repeat itself. The things that Scallon is saying, they're becoming scary. I don't think anyone could go that far in the 20th century. People learn from history. Sure. Can't you use the power to make someone change their mind? Their way of thinking? With the help of the Salitors, I can bend people to my will. But the effect never lasts long, and not every one of these people has potential. That's enough theory. Let's move on to the practical part now. Can you help me with a small experiment, miss? With pleasure. You too, miss. I'd like to ask both of you ladies for a coin. A kopieko will do, and I promise to give it back. Excellent. By touch alone, I am now able to uncover the secrets that Miss Bolina is hiding from all of us. This is starting to get interesting. Let's see. A thaumaturge can gain profound knowledge of a person from any object that belonged to them, however mundane it might be. Let's see. The truth can be surprising. Well, enlighten us already. It's prudence that I ask if you consent to me sharing your secrets. I don't have anything to hide. Miss, your thoughts are clearly focused on a single ambitious goal. It has to do with money. Of course it has. You need funds, and seeing as you have no one else to provide them for you, you resort to a risky way of raising them. By playing cards and also gambling dens. You dream about going to the Sorbonne, where you intend to pursue a career as a scientist. That's right. Let us focus on you then, Mr. Zilia. Please go ahead. Your fascination with thaumaturgy is intense. And there's a reason for it. Well... Contrary to how it may be perceived by outsiders, it is not the desire to impress a certain thaumaturge. Rather, it is a professional quest to find answers to questions yet unexplored. Miss wants to be the first. Thank you, sir. One more thing. You promised to explain something to us during the practical section. That section is now, right? What I've just presented to you is the thaumaturge's skill of perception, which means reading that which is hidden. However, in order for perception to be useful, something must first be inscribed in an item. Right. And if someone doesn't have the power, but focuses on the message, Will they be able to inscribe what they want? Well, it doesn't hurt to keep trying, right? Fascinating. Thank you for this truly enlightening lesson. At the same time, it pains me to say that it's time to end it. Do you have to end it now? I have to be mindful of safety, not only of the students, but also of our hosts. Return safely and uh, forget that you are here. Can I have a word with you, Mr. Shulsky? Please indulge me. Thank you and congratulations on an amazing lecture. And about our issue? Mr. President, but above all, Mr. Shulsky, what a wonderful experience. I will never forget it. I'm glad. I can't wait for our next meeting. Goodbye.
Come back safe, Cheswaf. Getting back to my question. It's not her. I'm sure of it. That's good. It's a great relief. And you got it from the Kopieka. What kind of magic is this? The traces people leave on objects allow me to read their intentions, and even their innermost thoughts. I'm grossly simplifying, of course. This is a topic that deserves its own lecture. Maybe it does. Although the joy is spoiled by one fact that I must share with you. Should I be nervous? I'm afraid so. Someone in the merry gathering of students has bad intentions. To put it bluntly, someone here wants to betray you. So it's true, then. Do you know who this is? Not yet, unfortunately. So I advise you to be very careful. Thank you. I will not endanger you any longer. Until our next meeting, I hope. Certainly. Have a good night, Samuel. Be careful. If it's all right with you, I'll attend to my own matters now. I'll go and clean up. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. I've heard you've been traveling a lot. I'm not used to getting such a welcome from others. Usually, they go charging straight into my head. That's not very polite in my view. One ought to introduce oneself first. Emir Bernokovich Fulje. Are you alone? I've taken care of them. Good. Thank you for the onion. Thank you for the fork. It's impossible to ignore an invitation magically inscribed on an onion. How can I help you? What is a fauté? That's what we Tatars call thaumaturges. I'm a healer, a fortune teller, and a doctor. Is something ailing you? I'm looking for the Black Grimoire. After my father died, it went missing. What do you need another spell book for? I didn't expect to receive anything. I want to know why he left it to me. You and Stanislav weren't especially close, were you? Get to the point. As you wish. Enough beating around the bush. place we can talk openly and take all the time we need but mind that lying may cost you dearly who told you i have the black grimoire i overheard something on a walk by the river don't veil yourself the grimoire my patience is running short suffer is dead you're the only one left Give the grimoire back. This is the last time I'm asking. Stanislav used to tell me you were really sick and nearly lost your mind. How did you manage to get through all that? I didn't ask for diagnosis. This Falje of yours, how did he help you? 
with a good word and a prayer. Do you trust him? It isn't easy to earn my trust. And your Falje is a thaumaturge too? Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. Do you know any other thaumaturges from Warsaw? Can we ever truly say we know another person? That's enough. I don't have the Black Grimoire, and I've never had it. Why are you toying with me? Forgive me. At my age, I have to hunt around for entertainment. I wanted to give you a try. You've got talent, and you know how to use it. You've basically learned nothing from me. Your resistance has given me as much knowledge as the truth would have. That comes with experience. I want to rebuild the Coterie, with your participation. Why do you want to resurrect it? I'll tell you why you want this. Because your father had the right idea, but lost himself on the journey. You've got the chance to avoid his mistakes. I trust that now you're intrigued. It sounds tempting. I'll think it over. That's enough for me for the time being. But take my advice. When you leave here, go to the one who healed you. I sense he has many secrets. We all do, don't we? Yes, but his secrets might be dangerous and might thwart your plans. Be careful. You appear to be waiting for me. Indeed, Mr. Shulski. Do you remember me? Czesław, I attended your lecture. Can I take a moment of your time? It's urgent. Unfortunately, you're going to have to come to me some other time. Please, give me a moment. Really? Some other time? Too late! They're already here! Think they'll keep us here long? Do you at least know where we are? No. I've got a splitting headache. They took the grimoire from me. Do you believe me now? Now is a good time for you to explain the situation to me. I think they're after the Flying University and Dickstein. It was probably them that arrested Valdemar. And now, they've been following me as well. Who are these people? I don't know. I fear they're with the Ochrana. I told you, they've been following me. Ever since I came back, I've been finding myself in situations like this quite often. It can't be good for my head. Your head has more serious concerns right now. I'm afraid they won't let us go so easily. If at all. I'll take a look around here. Seem pleased. Have you managed to feel something out? I've discovered a few things. We'll see which of them prove to be useful. How about a smoke? 
They didn't take them from you? Luckily, no. They're imported. The, the good stuff. They have a distinct, courtly taste of the bourgeois. I've heard that somewhere already. It's a popular saying. A convict's last meal. Want one? What is it that you want from the fine university? Being a diligent student is not my thing. I simply heard that is where fancy girls go. You understand, right? Cigarette. I'll have one of those. Interesting. What is? I think you'll find out soon. Mr. Shulski has come to already? Good. We want to ask you some questions, and we're not in any kind of rush. But first, this one. How about it, Chaseoff? Where should we start? Feet, nails, or knees? Gentlemen, I beg you. I don't know anything. This is some sort of mistake. Cheswaf, Cheswaf, we know about Dick Stein and the students. We even know about the Shulsky family home. We're catching you one by one as we speak. Do you prefer the hammer or the pliers? I don't know anything. I swear, Mr. Shulsky. Where's my grimoire? We happen to be reading it. Why? If this is true, and you have so much as glanced at the written pages, all the demons imprisoned there have looked into your souls. They will hunt you for the rest of your days. That's not how grimoires work. Didn't I tell you? That's exactly how they work. My cousin looked at a grimoire once and soon started dreaming of ghouls. So did his children. It went on for years until he sought aid from a priest. Be quiet, idiot. Maybe we should move on to Mr. Shulski now. Pliers or hammer? Go with the pliers. Nails will grow back and it's better to pull out aching teeth earlier anyway. What? What? Give it a rest. You don't make for good comedians. I know that Cheswaf is a spy. What? But this choice between a hammer and pliers, that's really good. It plays on the imagination. But Cheswaf is no Hamlet. Though you'd make a good Rosencrantz, or a good Ophelia. Let me tell you how this is going to end. You'll give me my grimoire back, and then let me out of here. And if you don't, I'll make you tear off each other's faces. You heard Mr. Shulsky, you ass-faced pillock. Piss off out of here and get the grimoire. You know how it is. It's part of the job. Of course, I understand. We're all professionals here. Here, Mr. Shosky. Your book. Don't get in my way. They never learn. Mr. Shulsky, what brings you here? You must warn the students immediately. Arrests have started. 
Cheswav gave up everyone. I just got out of the Okana torture chamber. He was also there, and he was helping them. Cheswav? In that case, I think it's already too late for us. And what about the university? Future Polish intelligentsia, educating the young elites of the Republic of Poland. And what about my wife and child? I make no secret of the fact that I myself risked a lot when I allowed a lecture to take place in my house. You are indebted to me. I'm very sorry. Ligia is sure to be made disconsolate by your decision. What will happen to the students? They all knew the risk they were signing up for. We agreed that in a situation like this, everyone would look after themselves. All right. You're right. I'll bring everyone I can to the antiquarian bookshop, but I'm going to need help. Paulina should be sitting next door at the bridge club. Could you... I'll find her. Warn Cecilia. She lives in the Praga tenement house, vis-a-vis -vis the Orthodox Church. I'll do my best. I'll see you at the Antiquarian Bookshop. Another... What's going on here? Why is there no passage? Man, on one side, there are the Ruskies that want to come in and batter people. And on the other side, there's me not wanting to let them in. And seeing as there are more of us this time, it won't be so easy for them. I repeat, get out of the way and no one will be harmed. Take your bark and somewhere else, lying dogs. Haven't you had enough this year? Do you intend to drag people out of their homes and beat them in the streets again? Or shoot them? And which side of the barricade are you gonna be on? Is there perhaps a chance that you will help me pass in such a way as not to draw the Ruski's attention? And who are you supposed to be? A provocateur, probably? And with a magical book, no less. Forget about it. I have to think about this. And what is there to think about? Have you made up your mind yet, or has something new come up already? I don't have time. Whoever wants to join in, let them. Gentlemen, I think the Jews have found themselves an ally. What I'd like to give them is a beating. Come on, Mr. Magician! Draw for a straight. Is that bad? How do you know? Ah, fuck it. 
Give me two. It's urgent, and I don't want to explain it in front of everyone. Please, let's go. Fine, let's go. Hey, we got a deal going. I must immediately take the young miss away from here on a very delicate matter of a private nature. Then I don't give a fuck. No one leaves here until we finish. A deal is a deal. The lady is leaving, but with us, Panyal. Fuck you, you horse spawned rusky milksop. Get a fuck out of the bridge club if you can't play culturally with people. Get lost, the lot of ya. Did you hear what Mr. Vieswav said? You can call me Vieshek. There's a place we're supposed to meet in case of trouble like this. The Antiquarian Bookshop by Green Square. Victor, it's about the Flying University. Arrests have started. Cecilia was here. Where is she now? You weren't coming. She went to warn the others and bring them to the Antiquarian Bookshop. What now? How much did Cecilia tell you? I know about the arrests, the Ochrana, and the whole situation. I expected that. It's okay. Given the circumstances, I must ask if it's possible that our mutual friend, the Chief of the Secret Service, already knows everything as well. Are you asking if I report it to him? The thought has crossed my mind. You have to understand that I had to call him. Otherwise, they would have arrested Cecilia. What is it that Konechkin wanted in return? As I've no doubt he wanted something. That's my business. You weren't here. Does that mean you also plan to go to the Antiquarian Bookshop? Of course. Why do you ask? Because I know it's careless, dangerous, and very much your style. 
very aware as well. So if you want to dissuade me from it, you can forget about it. In that case, let's go. You've made it. Yes, and I'm glad you've made it as well. Thank you for helping me at the bridge club. Say hi to Vieshek for me next time you have the chance. I will do just that. Time is short. Let's hear what Dijkstein has to tell us. Looks like this is the end of our university. We'll see about that. No one knows what the future will bring. Shall we begin? Yes, I think everyone we've managed to warn is already here. My dear friends, I couldn't be more proud to have been a part of this undertaking. And I couldn't be more sad that it's over. Mr. President, now is the time to wait things out. However, in view of the arrests and all the danger I have brought on everyone, I see no other way out. I'm closing the Flying University. For your safety. I suggest that everyone finds a safe hideout and waits out the commotion. Listen, the most important thing is to survive. In case someone catches you and interrogates you, you don't have to cover for me. It's not worth exposing yourself that way. I do not agree. We must wait. True. But never give up. Then all of us... All those who are arrested, their sacrifice will be in vain. What are you talking about? I'm afraid we have to end this debate for now. The Ohrana will eventually find this place as well. Yes, we already know what we have to do. Wait out the fever that is consuming the city. And then try again until it works. I understand. Thank you. For everything. Although some would like to silence us, I believe that our fate will soon change. Patience. Meanwhile, look after yourselves. Thank you, once again. Anyone can win today, try your luck and play. Don't give up, ma'am. You'll get lucky this time. And you, sir? How can I help you? What's the game? Good, sir. Let me explain. Three cups, one shell. To find it is to win. Simple enough, right? Except I've lost three times already. I'd love to play. Who knows, maybe I'll have more luck. You have to wait, I'm afraid. It's the lady's turn. Thank you, sad man. Fortune favors the brave. All right, let's do it. Come back later, sir. I'll play. And if you cheat, I'll know. Why don't you go, ma'am? This isn't your lucky day. And now we'll have a talk with you, smart Alec. We'll teach you not to harass hard-working fiddlers. Get him!
Is Rasputin in? Look at him. So rude. He ought to at least say hello first. Stop it. Grigory went for a walk to the cemetery. We wore him out a little, so he wanted some fresh air. Can we help you? In that case, I'll go to the cemetery. What are you doing here? Vanitas vanitatum et omnia vanitas. Your father was a great man. Where did that thought come from? I can see clearly what a great influence he had on your life, Victor. We both know how much you wanted to be his equal. That's possible. Maybe I didn't want to admit it, even to myself. Maybe you knew me better than I know myself. It's as if you've been inside my head. You didn't answer my question. What are you doing here? We're on the boundary of two worlds. Amid human ashes, this is a wonderful place to contemplate the future. Your father considered himself Polish. Your mother was Russian. And you grew up in France. Who are you, Victor? I'm a thaumaturge. I also think that it's our nature that defines us, and not the place where our mothers brought us into this world. And what natures do those others have? The people around me, you've gathered them, us, intentionally. Everyone has a goal. We're only yet another stopover on someone's journey. And sometimes, our paths lead in the same direction. Mine leads to the court of Nikolai Romanov. I need to save that Tsarevich, because I believe that only then can we have a future. I can help him. Do you believe me? Yes, I believe because you helped me. I know that. Think what we can achieve, Victor, if you just come with me. Imagine that the thaumaturgical knowledge of the whole Russian Empire will be at your fingertips. As long as Alexei Romanov is healthy. Agreed. I'm with you. Perfect. Now our journey is really beginning. Just remember, there's no turning back. Let's not waste time. Let's go pray. Ideally at the Orthodox Church of St. Mary Magdalene. Ready? Yes, let's go at once. Victor, it's about to start. Strange. I don't remember the way here. Not at all. Should I be nervous, friend? This terrifies me. Quiet there. You're not in a barn. The Patriarch Kiru will soon begin an exorcism on a certain boy. I know that you and Kiru have a past. Why are we here, of all places? Not in the least. Remember, revenge is foreign to me, Victor. It's not about Kirill. Though, if by chance he trips up today, that would make me immeasurably happy. Unlike Kirill, I really do want to heal a boy who is suffering. The people must understand that I am the truth. And what then? Then, all that's needed is for what happens here to reach the right ears. Off to the market with you! Don't bother folks here! 
Now I would like you to look around and determine how to prepare the miracle of healing. Go now. What's my role in all this? The church is a divine stage. The sort I need to perform on to produce the right impression. People will see me today as a miracle worker. What's your role in this? You're a thaumaturge. Help me do it. I'll go take a look around. Go, but don't waste time. I felt something. Where is it? start patience daughter and humility keep praying you're back after all you'll soon see the power of God is he your son why did you bring him here what business is it of yours the devil needs to give him my son back he's got me scared to sleep under my own roof why he won't shut up about phantoms, and he lies and makes stuff up, and he holds and holds. But Yushka, faster, have mercy. Hey, you. I've heard you are a liar. No, I don't lie. That's not true. And that you scare your mama making things up. Not true. Why did you harm Cartafel? He said it really hurts now. I didn't mean to. I didn't. I was angry. Papa didn't come back from the war. <laughs> I know you destroyed a holy image. Do you want to go to hell? No, I got scared. Mama? I want to go home. Don't get close to him. It's the devil speaking through him. He'll tell you anything to save himself. And the boy carries a flaw. Perfect. And what's next? Maybe it's what's making him upset. If I took it away... But Kiro told me to move away before it opened completely. Don't dwell on it. It's good news. Let's get closer to God. Especially since it's a little too loud here. Thanks be to God. They're going somewhere else to talk. Princeps Miliete Teliestes defende nos in proelio. Down with the evil spirit. I drive you out in the name of Christ. Priest! Leave that child alone. You stand in defense of Satan. He's not a child, he's a devil. Mama! You're causing a child unnecessary suffering. He needs a different kind of help. True help. My help. Quiet, don't scream. I'm not going to do anything to you. Mama! Mama! Help! He sees you as I do. That only means one thing. Hey, don't cry, all right? How about we talk?
Do objects sometimes reveal secrets to you? At home, for instance. Yes, Mum is afraid of me. And tells me not to touch anything. Have you told anyone about this? My mama and the priest. Am I going to hell? Calm down, everything's all right. No one's taking you to hell. I see ghosts too. Sometimes they even help me. Why did God do this to us? Doesn't he like us? God isn't the one who thinks we're bad. It's the people who don't have our power. <laughs> they don't understand us, so they're afraid. And that makes them angry. Will this take much longer? Kevin is about to declare me anathema. How can it be that he's crying here? <laughs> he's a thaumaturge. I didn't know that earlier. <laughs> Do you see yourself in him? Do you want to help him because no one helped you? What will happen to me now? Well, Victor, we're running out of time. What will happen to him now? I'm not sure. Permit me to make it easier for you. What does being a thaumaturge mean to you? My power is my greatest gift. I couldn't imagine life as someone else if someone had it taken away. Why do you think that? I can see more than others can. That means I know more than others do. Then I can use that any way I want. For you it's a treat. For others, it's a shame. <laughs> I hope I helped. His crying bothers me. I decided not to remove his flaw. Without it, his first senator will never find him. But maybe his life would have been easier without it. Now, we'll never know. From this point, he would constantly feel something missing in his life. I can't do that to him. Our abilities can be a blessing, not a curse. You've convinced me. Are we going to my mama? I'll take you to her in a moment, but first listen to me, all right? You can see things others can't see. That's normal. That will make you go to hell. Soon, a spirit will find you, one you mustn't be scared of. From then on, you'll never be alone and he'll help you. Do you understand? Yes. Come on. We probably won't see one another again. Good luck. It's all right now. Everything will be all right. Find peace inside yourself. Peace. It's all right now. Be blessed, Shimon. Be healed. It's better now, isn't it? It's a miracle. Thank you. With all my heart. Shimon shares his name with the name of the greatest of Christ's apostles. And you wanted to drive Satan out of him. That's blasphemy. So say I, Grigory Yefimovich Rasputin. The man you betrayed, Judas. We have made the words of God into an instrument for our own gain. Made sacred temples into a vanity fair. Satan exists, and he is here today among us. But not in this small, defenseless boy I have just killed. This evil runs rampant through our homeland, driving our great nation toward a precipice. It's time to stand against this. Let us be strong in spirit. That is the only way we can defeat Satan. 
down with traitors. Hey, you, the devil with the book. You damned magician, I'm talking to you. Officer, I was just passing by. Victor, do you need help? I won't say no. Looks like it'll be useful. What was that you said, officer? Davolna. I can see you're in the way of Because these are wizards come. It's not a fair fight with them. Enough. You and you. Get them. But save your powers for later. They'll come in handy. Let's go. Michal, leave him alone, bastard! Geroy, you're coming with us too. Although. They could have left me a coat. It's chilly here. They're going to kill us. We'll get out of this. I wonder how. First time? You don't know where we are, do you? Yannick. In the Citadel. There's no getting out of here. First, the Ochrana will grill us. Then it'll be out to the prison yard. Hey, kid, look at me. Wanda will spring us from here. We just have to give her time. Have you learned to whistle yet? And remember, we were at mass. We don't know anything, got it? Unlike him. And now you're going to tell me exactly what happened inside the church. How is Vanda meant to help you? I'm sure Vanda and our folks have already got the Citadel under watch. We don't leave our own behind. Don't change the subject. What about the church? I did what I had to. The boy at the exorcism turned out to be a thaumaturge. And? Seems to me I was the first person to recognize his nature. I'd have given a lot for that kind of help once. And where did you end up, hero? I got the urge to pray, and I could have been having a beer at Berg's. Jan Bialek! No, please, no. Here, that's me. You've got to get him out of here, you understand? He's not even 16. You have my word. Yalek, you're coming with me. 
Tell her not to miss me. And you, practice that whistling. Think he'll come back? Pankratz is going to be so happy when he sees you. Who's going to feed him now? Poor Pankratz, he'll starve to death. They're going to kill us here. Where are you from? From here. I live with my grandfather in Praga. He fought in the January uprising. He raised me after my father died. I wanted to make him proud, and that's why I joined our faults. My father is dead too. Is he? Mine died of whooping cough. He worked in a factory and everyone got sick there. We are going to die here too. A building fell on mine. What a bourgeois way to die. I had no intention of bragging. You said what you said. Even so, believe me, my life wasn't as much of a fairy tale as you'd imagine. My best friend's father was in debt to a dishonest loan shark, and we wanted to help. I think we were younger than you. And what happened? We went to see him with my father's gun, the one I carry with me. And what? It went off. The lone shark died on the spot. My father handed me some suitcases and a ticket and said never to come back. So he sorted it out. Sounds like a good father. Maybe you're right, a little. Shulski! Your turn. See you. How touching. Move your ass! That was... disappointing. Did you know him? No, never seen him before in my life. I don't think so. But it can't hurt. Really? I can see you're still using it. I remember how it ended the story of a particular loan shark. And that sizable problem of yours is it still following you? In a moment, it might be a problem for us both if I mess around here too long. Let's risk it. Tell me anything of value. Then, I'll be able to find a way to help you. I wouldn't want the dredgers to pull you out of the Vistal afterward, like Setwana Petrovna. I think you're lying. You didn't find anything. What were you doing in the church? I was praying to find my late father's grimoire. It's a good thing I don't do that often. How did you get there? My friend didn't want to watch the exorcism alone. He's got weak nerves. What friend is this? Name? I'd rather not. I see. It looks like we're done here. Leave us alone.
What? No interrogation? Don't be silly. I don't need to introduce you to. Ready? I know everything that I could read from his objects. What are you expecting? Results. Find out what he did in the church and where his father's friends are. As you wish, sir. Let's not drag this out. Good to see you. We need to talk. Let's talk, but I guarantee you won't like it. <sighs> Greetings from inside your head. I intend to make myself at home here. Why do you work for a louse like Konyachkin? We're not thinking about me now. You won't trick me here, and you won't escape either. Save your energy. Think about the church and who you were there with. In the church, a young boy was undergoing an exorcism. But he wasn't possessed. He was like us. He was a thaumaturge. You helped him understand who he is. Well, I'll be damned. I thought you didn't know what sympathy was. Why didn't you show so much heart to Sophia Scowon? Her father hired me. Scowon promised my past would be forgotten and my sins wiped away. So we both here for punishment. I foresaw the gallows for you. Have you forgotten? I don't intend to stay here that long. And you should neither. What are you thinking about? Escape from here? Have you lost your mind? You've got nothing that would be worth such a risk. Right. Think what we could do with knowledge like that. End up on the gallows. If we played badly. All right. All right. What? Let's get out of here. That's what you want, after all. I'll help you, but you're taking me with you. You know this place. How can we get out safely? It's dawn. We'll just walk out through the main gate. A few soldiers shouldn't be a problem for you. I'm not leaving here without my father's grimoire. I'm convinced Konyechkin has it. That's right. It's in his study. Two floors up. Just don't dawdle. Go. I'll hold Konyechkin here. But not for long, so hurry. Make it snappy. I can't hold him here long. I felt something. Where is it? Thank you. 
What do you think of this, father? Let's see. Shulsky, there's no time for reading. I can't read this. It's like describing colors to a blind man. I don't get it. Whatever you're mumbling, I don't care. We need to go. What happened? The guard peeked inside this cell and everything fell apart. Konyechkin was furious. It'll take him a little while before he regains his composure, so let's not waste time. I'll lead us out of the gate, but what then? My cellmates have confirmed their people are observing the Citadel. They'll pick us up. Sounds like a plan. Sarah Rivkin, right? I saw your files. You like playing with fire. I haven't been her for a long time. Did you hear what I said about escaping? Before we leave, I'd like to grab one of my cellmates. What? Have you lost it completely? I promised. You'll get lost here. I'll go. You secure the passage to the gate for us. Just wait for me there. I'll be waiting. What are you doing here? I must have gotten lost. I'm sorry. Which way to the Citadel? I see you're not from around here, Jand. Grab him. And you, what are you grinning at? Grab the rest of those fuckers in the barracks.
So, have you mastered whistling? That's how you do it. Come on, folks. to see you. What about Miha? And her? Thanks to me, the rest got out. Move. Please, come in. No one should be alone at a time like this. Emir, they killed Miha. He is not altogether lost, remember. I'm going to see Burke. The rest should know. Come on, Yannick. The famous Madame Samira has honored my humble abode. Thank you for taking us in. You must be exhausted. Please, go ahead to your rooms upstairs. I'll join you in a moment. Are you coming? Yes.
Please, make yourselves at home. The tea is brewing and it will do us all good. Madame, I presume you're a thaumaturge? Salam alaikum. Hopefully. For the time being, I'll assume we all have good intentions. As for me, you have nothing to worry about, sir. I trust her. That's enough for me. Let's not waste time. Do not mistake this somber moment for one of peace. This isn't the calm before the storm. We're in the eye of the storm. Time is scarce, the risk is great, and the consequences will be irreversible. I trust you've got the Black Grimoire already? What do you think threatens us? You're a wanted fugitive, so detainment, interrogation, and probably the noose. And you, miss. The noose. They won't waste time interrogating me. Then I guess we all meet at the gallows after all. You do help fugitives, don't you? Me? Even if the Russian military barges in, I'll tell them you broke in by force. I'd add that we forced you to cooperate. Right. Right. Why don't we move on from doubts to solutions? The solution is to combine all of our individualities. Separately, we're all too weak. But if we form a pact, its consequences might reverberate throughout Russia, possibly even all of Europe. Who knows, maybe that way we could save not only our own necks. What about Wanda? Aren't you afraid she'll seek revenge? Yes, and that revenge will push her to extreme measures. But what we're trying to build might save her from downfall. It's one of the reasons that time is of the essence. I got my father's grimoire back. It was where we both expected it to be. Have you studied it yet? I've browsed through it. My father somehow managed to conceal the meaning behind written words. I can feel that it's there, but it keeps slipping away. I think the combination of our powers might solve your problem. Can you tell me what we're talking about exactly? Before he died, Stanislaw Shulsky created a hypothesis upon which he tried to use the full potential of Thaumaturge's mental bond. You mean peeking inside each other's heads? It is not arcane knowledge. Shulsky believed that connected thaumaturges could share their powers. It's still just a hypothesis. How can we verify it? Only through an experiment, I presume. Let's not waste any more time. What else do we need to form such a pact? First of all, a fourth member. I trust you know someone else we could use. The only one that comes to mind is Ariel Rofa. He crossed my mind, too. Do you think he could be useful with the reputation he has? He hasn't shown up at the Rujits much lately. Do you know him well? Not personally. People talk about him in the neighborhood. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Don't give it too much thought. Needless trouble. I'll bring him here. At least I'll try. There's one more thing. That Folge who healed you. With him I can acquire and control more Salutus. Without his help it would no longer be possible. I believe that our pact will give us much greater power. We'll be able to easily compensate for the lack of your friend. How do you think I should resolve this situation? It would be most imprudent to let such suspicious people inside your mind for too long. Any carelessness may cost all of us dearly. If you're still bound to him somehow, I'm afraid you'll have to end it. Yes. Tell him it's not him, it's you, and so on. Remember, this is no longer a question of only your noggin. Madame, the tea is ready. I have to go down now. Good luck, Victor.
did you come to check on me? Would that be wrong? Your resistance girlfriend won't mind. It's a rhetorical question. What are your impressions after meeting our host? Do you trust no one, or are you just being polite? I just wanted to know your opinion. If what we are planning here is going to work, you'll have to trust us at some point. I'm not sure if he's a good Felcher, but he seems to be an experienced thaumaturge. And it's not easy for me, but I think I would trust him. Not that I have any choice. What actually convinced you to run away with me? A woman without secrets becomes vulnerable. Let me guess. Surprise me. I think I was the perfect opportunity to get off Konyechkin's leash. I wouldn't call it a leash. Rather, an entanglement. Am I right? Perhaps. Who is Sara Rivkin? You saw my files at Konyechkin's. Sara Rivkin is none of your business. Please. Sincerity for sincerity. I'm not interested in your secrets. All right. Do you have any other personal questions? I'll come back later. Sure. Intriguing. Did you manage to solve your healer's case? I'm working on it. I see. Tell me how a Jew, a Tata, and my father met. Who first? Choose. Tell me about my father. I met Stanislav during the January Uprising. He was still a bachelor then. We were in the same unit under Traugut. Were there many Thaumaturges fighting back then? We didn't flash it around. Besides, we all bleed red. I used to be a frequent visitor to your house. But as time went by, less and less so. Did something happen? Just life. Stanislav focused on his family, and I focused on my practice. What about Sofer? The old rabbi was introduced to me by Stanislav. He was the one who sought to acquaint us with one another. Sofer was a powerful Kabbalist and very respected in his community. He was the one who brought the Golem into existence. I didn't get a chance to know him better, as he died shortly after casting that curse. Do you think that summoning the Golem might have been the cause? No, no, it was the profusion of cookies he loved so much that killed him. You treated Sofer. I found a prescription he wrote. That's true. A hopeless case of an addiction to trivialities. Had we met sooner, he might still be alive. Tell me about Horovitz's case. How did it impact the Coterie? He was actually the reason it started to fall apart. He was a socialist chemist who knew a lot. There was a risk he would be exposed. So my father killed him. Stanislav took the burden of that decision upon himself, reckoning with consequences. He knew the Jewish community would blame him, and Sofer couldn't defy the will of his people. That would compromise him and be the undoing of us all. 
Stanislav did us a favor. And to socialists as well, I guess. I have some other questions. You do? Tell me about yourself. I'm afraid your request is too broad. Ask me a more direct question. You come from here? You're asking if I was born in Warsaw? I only came here after the uprising. My family comes from Vilnius. But my heart beats the same as yours. Tell me more about the Tatars. My ancestors settled around Vilnius over 600 years ago. Since they were noblemen, we kept our own religion and traditions. Are you all Muslims? Are you all Catholics? Everyone lives by their heart. And that's the way it should be. Who do you consider yourself to be? A doctor. I meant, who do you feel like? A Tatar, a Pole, a servant of Allah. I am all of them. I like to believe that I'm a good man, too. I avoid labeling people, Victor. It leads nowhere. When we first met, you tested me. I had to know what kind of clay you're made of. Forgive the pun. You impressed me back then. You proved to be the son of your mighty father. And what did you think of me back then, if I may ask? I must say you impressed me. Especially considering the fact you look rather... Old? Experience comes with age. Remember that. Remember also that kindness and gentleness have nothing to do with weakness. And that they cost nothing. I have some other questions. Go ahead. I have to go now. May Allah guide you. Vaše documenti. Pardon? What don't you understand? Documents. Je ne parle pas Ruski. It's not enough that he's a magician. He's scum. You'll learn right quick once I give you a beating. Documents. I won't say it again. Prayad voice Triatsa. I'll take over. Documents. Or are you deaf? Show them to me, and you can be on your way. Why so nervous, officer? If it's papers you want to see, I'll show you. I've nothing to hide. Mm -hmm. He's a magician, Captain. What, am I blind? I can see he's a magician. But he's not the one. Show Harsho. You can go. Just watch yourself. Thank you very much, officer. Au revoir. I've got my eye on you. Stryatsov, reinforcements are needed on Bzetska. Let's go. Yes, sir. Come to lecture me about not doing anything stupid. How did you know they would take us to the Citadel? Thank you, Vonda. You saved my life. Hmm? You're welcome. After the roll by the church, they made no bones about where they were taking you. They wanted to make it an example to others. They underestimated you. By the way, that madame, 
Who is she? A colleague. You look like someone who has a lot of colleagues. Well, never mind. Watch out for her. What about you? What are you doing here? I'm here to warn you. Sorrow and anger are not good advisors. You're not great either. Vanda. For your information, I've got plans. They don't include you. Look after yourself. I hope you thought it through. <sighs> I'll take care of everything. I promise. Stop, I say! Why are you butting in, Feldman? Show a little respect! He's a rabbi, after all. Rabbi or no rabbi, if he keeps butting in, he'll get some too. Calm down. Maybe that's our mission. You're either with us, or you're against us. What are you doing in this crowd, Hyatt? You shouldn't be here. I'm leaving town, and so should you, before someone sees your book. This neighborhood has seen enough blood. I'm begging you. Hashem is watching you and can see you. That while well, that magician is still breathing. What's going on here? Who are they talking about? People read all the propaganda and got hot under the collar. They went after Ariel Rothe, but Feldman stopped them. And I'm afraid to leave him alone. But you need to get out of here. They mean business. These people know you. I bet they respect you, too. Can't you talk them out of it? Once, I imposed my will upon others. And you can see how it ended. Hopefully, Feldman can handle this. But I don't know. Where do you intend to go? As far away as I can. I have a cousin in Lviv. And then we'll see. The new start? Yes. I want to leave this town and hatred behind. I want to forget my mistakes. You should, too. Perhaps you're right. I'll consider it. Don't take too long. You can see what's going on here. Warsaw isn't a good place for anyone. Is this goodbye, then? So it seems. I told you to get out of here. Cast fear aside and back the rabbi. Don't let others make the same mistakes as you. They need your voice. Fuck the magician, fuck the rabbi. This is our neighborhood. Let's go. You, Aaron, should return to your wife. She's about to give birth. Aren't you ashamed? Uh, but what about the revenge for what the magicians do to us? And what have they done to you? What are you taking revenge for? You've read too many Russian papers and leaflets. I harbored hatred for years. I'm familiar. I found no justice in it. When the frenzy dies down, you'll be left with blood on your hands and shame. Don't take that path. Vengeance isn't justice. Enough of this anger. Let's go to the synagogue to ask for forgiveness.
saw how he crawled. Warsaw is ours! Well, yeah, but maybe that's enough already. Sonny, it takes fire to fight devils. Well, if you say so. What's going on here? A crusade in the name of God, that's what. Is it offer inside? Mother of God! Sonny, there's another one! Are you messing with my mother? I'll kill you, so help me God! Come on, let's get this over with. In the name of the Father and the Son, we don't fear the devil! Pummel him, boys, before he takes your souls! <laughs>
take you. I hope you burn in hell, bastard. My Tajik, Spisek. Now you see what crusades lead to, Granny. We all lose. This isn't over, my beautiful Tajik, my son. You come here to gloat, Sholsky? Don't speak. You're losing a lot of blood. What do you want? Hang on. I'll get help. I know a doctor. He's a thaumaturge. Forget it. If only I'd had the golem. If it brings you any comfort, I sorted those guys out. Lean over. Lean over me, posh boy. Let me tell you something. Fuck off. See you on the other side of the dream. Damn it. What do you want here? Is that your shop magician? I'd like to know what you're looking for. Did someone hire you? Hired? We are the Holy Inquisition. It's time to dispose of you and your wealth. Like Scowan promised a long time ago. It's close today. You can go. Come on. Let's use this one as an example. We'll hang his head in the display window like a trophy for everyone to see.
wasn't too hard. Damn it. Did you manage to solve your healer's case? I'm working on it. I see. I went to see Rafa. He won't be able to join us. Why is that? He died before my very eyes, perished in a pogrom. Which is why we need to make a pact all the sooner. I have to go now. May Allah guide you. What's new, Mr. Shulski? Have you heard of Ariel Rofa? A little from the VJ. A bootlegger, a smuggler, a scoundrel. So, did he agree to join our gang? He's dead. What? Are you sure? I saw him die. I'm afraid it was my fault. I didn't keep my promise. I could have let him take the golem. His neighbors wouldn't have stood a chance. It wasn't you who impaled him on a pitchfork. It was Skawan and people like him who turned us into Devil's Brood. Maybe. Does Rove's death thwart our plans? Emir doesn't think so. Fine. So finish your business and let's start already. I'll come back later. Sure. I'm fine, really. God knows how I feared for you. Lad, your sister is so determined that she wants to bring order to the streets herself. A fever is spreading across the town. Where have you been? I've just got away from the Citadel. What? Why did you end up there in the first place? I have a feeling the Ochrana chief, Ivan Konechkin, just waited for an opportunity. 
The chief? Victor, these are serious accusations. I know he also has some plans regarding Nigia. He thinks he'd be a good catch. That's ridiculous. I've never... I wonder what might have given him that idea. Maybe the fact that you asked him for favors. So it's my fault Konietkin has some ideas now. Kids, this is no time for quarreling. So, you're saying that you escaped an impenetrable fortress. How? I got help from a fellow thaumaturge. Madame Samira herself. I see a pattern here that I find disconcerting, especially considering what happens on the streets. Kids, kids, this is bad. I got what is rightfully mine. The Black Grimoire is finally mine. Atta boy. Stasha will be proud. I'm in it. Does it have anything to do with your visit to the Citadel? And all the while, the Black Grimoire was lying on Ivan Konyechkin's desk. What a snake! I feel like killing him now, you know? Darling, don't waste words. Especially those kinds of words. Like I've said before, he's a real altruist. Remember? What else, Victor? On my way, I met some people who really despised Tamazuchi. They say it was Kawan who allowed it. He never concealed his dislike for your kind. Which your escape puts in a new perspective. If I contributed to that, I will fix it. I promise. I don't know how, but there are some options on the table. Be careful. Whatever is happening, it's only on the rise. Excuse me. I need to go now. Please be careful. I'll be fine. I will come back. I promise. In the meantime, you and Grazinka stay safe. All right? I should be going to... Victor, my lad. Listen to your old uncle. My uniform tells me to arrest you, but my blood holds me back. Others won't hesitate, though. Good luck, son. With everything. I don't look that bad, do I? <laughs> I need a carriage. Is this one free? Sir, they want a bribe from me. Help! Look, Private. This one's even got a book. The brass will be happy. Tell these two about their rights. You have none. By virtue of the decree on the martial law, you have been classified as suspicious characters. We will escort you to the Citadel. Unless some sort of a gift convinces us you are innocent. Of course. Is a bill of exchange enough? It will do just fine. Private. You know what to do. To the Citadel with him. But I wanted to pay. Don't fly too close to the sun. Get them!
I have no idea what you did to them, but today I will drive you for free. We just have to be careful. Some of the districts are cut off by the authorities. Still, today's rides are on me. Things people come up with. You made it, my friend. Wonderful. About what happened in the church. Did you get what you'd hoped for? Yes. Although bloodshed was not part of my plan. But apparently, such was God's will. But I'm sure we saved an innocent soul because God is with me. I have the power to heal. Time will tell, of course. How did you get out of there? What about you? The military gave me a ride. Why didn't you help me when they locked me up in the Citadel? God is my witness. Did I not send Lazarev to find you? Did they ask you anything during your captivity? I didn't say anything against you, if that's what worries you. It's good to know I can still count on your loyalty. It's good that you're here, that God guided you to me again. What's the occasion? Do you want to thank me for something again? Not today. Today, all of you gathered at this table are equally important. I want to celebrate you with this humble supper. I hope you'll join us. Grigori, we have to talk. That sounded serious. And one should sit down before discussing serious matters. Perhaps during supper. Uh, will you join me? Did you invite the press? My sermon must have made quite an impression on her. Good. Tell me more about this occasion. What do you want to know? The corner near the brothel. It was cozier at the Nadazhinsky's. But today, we wouldn't all fit. Look around and see how many believers we've gained. Are you saying that they were attracted by the miracle at the church? Of course. And the brothel is as good a place as any other. Better, even. Here, lust trumps propriety and the nakedness is a symbol of truth. We're celebrating truth here today. Truth in community. You went to a lot of trouble to prepare this supper. To what purpose? I wanted to meet, to talk, 
to show my gratitude to those of you who have persevered on the path of truth and stand with me despite adversity. Bless you. Who can I expect to see at this supper? It's difficult to mention everyone. My flock keeps growing, but people are different. Strong, wise, weak, dumb. Some stumble and never get back up. They will be missed today. I pray for their souls. What's important is that you came back. A discerning thaumaturge would notice that your supper resembles the Last Supper, the one from the Bible. A supper like any other. There is a host, his guests, food, and drink. I believe this meal will not be my last. That will do. So, will you join us now? All right, I'll stay. And what do you plan to do after supper? God created the world and placed a beautiful garden within it in the east. Then, he placed a man there. The plan is for us to meet in paradise as well, because there we will get that which we deserve, my friend. No more, no less. Do you recall our conversation over your father's grave, when I asked who you feel you are? Yes, I replied that I am defined by thaumaturgy. And I promised you all of the Empire's thaumaturgic knowledge. And it will be so. So help me God. Can we talk now? Your serious matter, of course. I was approached by certain people. They want my help in reviving one of my father's concepts. I understand. I know how much thaumaturgy means to you. What is it that you expect from me? Should I be afraid of something? This is goodbye for us, Grigori. We've had our moments, but now I want to go my own way. We have different visions for the future. I will work on accomplishing mine with other thaumaturges. Thank you for your honesty. I have been very eager to eat this Passover meal with you before my suffering begins. Wait a minute, my friend. I will be with you shortly. I still want to show you something before you leave for good. And Victor, I am telling you now before it happens, so that when it does take place, you may believe that I am he. what death is like? An infinite void? Where? Where am I? Is this hell? Well, I I'm telling see you, Mom, coming. all your temper turges are crazy. And the teacher said, Victor, is the right here in the classroom with us right now? <laughs> I almost pissed myself. Slow down. You'll get your clothes all dirty. I'm the head of this family, and I deserve respect. You'll put me in an early grave. This is the end. You've lost. Did you not hear what I said? This is the end. I was wondering where you'd bother me again. You needed me, so here I am. It is time for the trial. What trial? 
Is this some sort of court? Barbarit. Yes. A trial over the conscience of Viktor Shulsky. Of what do I stand accused? And what weighs on your conscience? A clay colossus. A beautiful, destructive force. The threat you visited upon us. Yes. And do you understand why? Good. So you understand that every victory requires sacrifice. And the end only justifies the means. Ultimately, the golem rests at your side, correct? I regret how the business with the golem ended. You mean how you ended it? What about Ligia? It's your fault her ambition is now so bloated. Surely you think you were protecting her by sparing her flaw. Your sister will never be the same again. So, the defendant admits guilt and shows contrition. Go on. I'm not finished. It's all right. We have all the time in the universe. Your twin sister, despite not having your power, was only ever kind to you in this cruel world. She was genuinely happy to have you come back to her. She was alone here, you know. That's very noble. But is there room for a caring sister in your plans for the future? I don't think so. Soon you will be left alone again. And in time, no one will remember you. Does loneliness scare you? Is there even a recipe for getting to know someone enough to never feel lonely? Go on. It's not over. Certainly. So, what's next? You're a thaumaturge. As was your father, your grandfather, and your great-grandmother. You've always thought of yourself as better than others because of that. The defendant admits to his own pride. My power also reminds me daily of the disappointment I felt after you disposed of me instead of protecting me. Rubbish. I always understood you and did everything to protect us, at any cost. You're a fool if you still don't understand. Have you come down a peg now? Because Uper reminded you of what had happened. We can end by saying that I realized how much I threatened the family at that time. And exile was not cruelty. It was mercy. And the Black Grimoire? You always coveted it. And behold, according to the last will, it's yours. Do you think this means you've never meant anything? Have you changed your mind? Are you ashamed of your past glibness? I guess it's not a crime to change your views, right? Not at all. That's enough. Accusations and evidence have been presented, and witnesses as well as jurors have expressed their opinions. Are you ready to hear the verdict? I want to hear the verdict. What do you think the trial has revealed? It made me realize that I regret my decisions. And you think that's the way it should be? Yes, 
I acted against my own conscience and am now consumed with regret. The verdict is... guilty. Guilty of self-involvement, suppressing his conscience, and breaking others at will. Guilty, guilty, guilty. This cannot end like this. And it won't end until you begin on one of the paths. This is the only way you can atone for your transgressions. Are you talking about Rasputin and the Coterie? There may be other paths available. Which one do you prefer? What do you want to tell me? That you can reach the world, following paths less trodden. But now, focus on what's in front of you. So... Why the Coterie? I believe that they are the answer to troubled times, and that they will be my wrong. So, you accept everything that was meant for you, and you will use it as you see fit. Are you happy with events taking this course? Yes, I want this. So, remember what it is you're feeling now the time for the trial comes. And you, what would you do in my place? I died beneath that tenement house. What you see is an embodiment of your pride, conscious or doubts. Those are the things you're arguing with, don't. You are your own worst enemy. Go now. Will I ever see you again? That's entirely up to you. You are in charge here. Let's meet in paradise, the garden near the fountain. Satan has asked to sift all of you as wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. I don't remember how I ended up here. Is it possible that what happened near the brother was just a dream? You're right. A dream wouldn't hurt like this. I have an idea who the author is, but I don't know how it's possible. I have no idea where to look for this paradise and garden. I'll think about this later.
les gars. Christ, don't sneak up on me like that. How do you feel? You took care of me. Thank you. Forget it. I wouldn't have managed it on my own. Grazenka helped me. Are you sure you don't want to rest some more? Where is Grazenka? She left to get some supplies. It's hard to buy anything now, but she left yesterday and still hasn't come back. Maybe she just had to hide somewhere and is waiting. Did someone come here when I was asleep? Did we have any visitors? Apart from myself, uncle and Grazenka, I didn't let anyone in. The streets are not safe. Why do you ask? I found an unusual letter on the nightstand. About a garden of paradise. What letter? The only garden that's being talked about now is the one at Dolinka Schweizarska. The Tsar and his entourage are planning to have a garden party in a park there. What is this party at Dolinka Schweizarska? The Tsar is celebrating his son's birthday. Would you use the phrase garden in the east to describe Dolinka? In the east? Dolinka is south of here. The only eastern thing about it is its guests. I would never have thought of that. It makes sense. Thank you. Is everything all right? You look concerned. That's because I am. Whatever is happening on the streets right now, it scares me. Is that why you unearthed Papa's musket? Does it still work? Just now I thought I would find out. Before you woke up, they shot a man on our street. He crawled away somewhere, but he was bleeding so badly. The entire city has gone insane. The governor general has closed the borders and isn't letting anyone leave. People have barricaded themselves in their homes. Maybe the Russians are waiting for us to kill each other ourselves. And they may be right. Only madmen roam the streets now. Maybe you should use your connections. Maybe your friend, the chief, will be able to help. Not for free, of course. Be careful. The musket is loaded. I guess I'm most worried about Grazenka right now. I was in Mirov earlier, and the store is still standing. You can rest easy. At least there's one thing we don't have to worry about. This chaos in the city. How long has it been going on? Three days. Uncle brought you here, half dead, three days ago. Do you know what day it is? Hold on. The last day of summer. I'm sorry, I don't have anything for you. You have risen from the dead. That has to be enough for me. At least until Christmas. Grazenka. I thought I'd find you in worse health. I see you've once again managed to avoid the consequences of your decisions. I'm afraid I must put a stop to this. You are under arrest for taking part in a conspiracy against the Tsar and engaging in terrorism. You'll be coming with us, Mr. Shulsky. I know what you want from me, Konyechkin. And I would like you to know that you disgust me beyond measure. And how the hell did you get the keys to our house? Dear Ligia, please try to understand that it was your brother who brought these dark clouds down upon your family. I'm just trying to disperse them without bloodshed. If you don't resist, I give you my word that no harm will come to your sister. Shall we? You are leaving. Straight to hell, you son of a bitch. If you think you'll take me away from my own home, you are mistaken. No, Chief. We'll finish this here. 
I didn't receive an invitation, so I decided to drop in on my own. After all, today is a Shulsky family holiday. Mr. Nyajits, Warsaw will get rid of two pests today. Wanna share any other fantasies? Don't worry about the broken window pane, Victor. I'll deduct it from the five rubles you still owe me. I won't beg for mercy, if that's what you were hoping for. I loaded my piece today. Just say the word, and the balding prick will lose the other half of his face. Nyajits, loyal to the end, like a dog, like his father. Are you going to let this mongrel deprive you of the pleasure? Will you leave my fresh corpse to your sister as a gift? Blood soaks into stone for many long years. A unique birthday gift. I won't kill you. So you're a fool. There is no place in the world where you can hide from me. So, you, fine. Now everyone in the Shulsky family has blood on their hands. Ligia, you've really impressed me now. The Shivs will carry you on their hands. What now? No one can find out. We have to get rid of him. Why, you'll be the protagonist of my next poem. Done. It doesn't even show. I could help you more. No, no, it's your birthday. Rest in peace, Chief. I'd lie if I said I'm fine, but I'll manage. I just need something to occupy my thoughts. What's next?
What do you intend to do? I'm still thinking. Do you want to know what I would do? Please do. I would face whatever it is that you must face. Papa hoped you would see some matters through to the end for him. Even if his ideals are not yours, don't run away from the inevitable. You can't be afraid. Thank you. Did I help? I think so. I'll let you know how it went. You've known me better than anyone for so many years. You were always with me, and you always will be. We have to talk about our future. Any ideas? Do you think Rasputin could have survived? The letter, yes. But it doesn't decide anything. He could have sent it before visiting the brother. But if he's alive, can we trust him? He may take us to see the Tsar, but what will be the price? On the other hand, if everything works, I can become more powerful than ever. Russia will give me all the knowledge I could ever want. I was thinking about our Thaumaturge friends. Who will understand better than them? Apart from you, of course. You're right. We both owe a lot to Rasputin. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't even be talking now. But his path, even if it does lead to the Romanov's court, is uncertain. And the price of following it is unknown. Tough choice, isn't it? Maybe Rasputin and the Coterie aren't my only options. Do you remember the other suggestion from the dream? Do you think it was about escaping? We could try to break free from all of them. We could escape. Maybe we could even convince Ligia to leave Warsaw behind. What do you make of this? Let's not waste any more time. Let's try to resurrect my father's cause. Let's return to our magical friends. Rasputin will have to return from the dead alone. I've thought of a good ending for our story. I want to finish what Father started. I'll rebuild the Thaumaturge coterie. I hope that will bring peace to him and to us. Papa would have been proud of you. I'm sure not living to see this was part of his plan. Victor. There was a man, and now the man is no more. See, Victor? If I put my mind to it, I can do a little magic myself. Did someone die again and needs to be buried? We've decided about our future. It's time to look my enemies in the eye and appreciate those who stand with me. I need to see certain things through to the end. Well, well, our Victor, all grown up. I'll come back for you once it's all over. Be careful. Good luck, brother. You can do it.
I knew that if you were alive, you would show up. If not death, then what stood in your way? A certain bearded friend of mine has kicked up a storm in this city. The town has gone crazy. I saw people furious at thaumaturges. I never thought it was so easy to get pitchforks and torches in Warsaw. Skawan seized the opportunity, and he's bringing in a new order. That's why we waited so long. Without you... Warsaw is no longer a city for thaumaturges. What were you doing for those three days? I was wondering how we could leave Warsaw in case you never came back. I had a few wounded to treat, and I prayed that the next one wouldn't be you. Since we're not waiting for anyone else, shall we? Let's get on with it. Even though we have different motivations, I trust that the pact is our destiny. Follow my lead. I, Emir Bernakovich Falje, worshipper of Allah, yearning for the Free Republic of Poland, declare willingness to form the pact and make the ultimate sacrifice for its cause. I, Sara Rivkin, follower of Moses, am willing to form our pact, hoping it will grant me freedom. Your turn. My name is Viktor Shulski. I'm a thaumaturge. It wasn't my choice. But when someone seeks our blood, they should be met with the proper response. I'm not going to beg anyone for mercy. Never again. For that, I am willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. Is that it? I can't feel anything. According to Stanislav's hypothesis, in order to conclude forming a pact, we need to read the instructions from the Black Grimoire together. Victor, focus on each of our dimensions now, and we'll help you read whatever Stanislav hid in the book. Focus on your heart first. My heart reveals the first inscription before me. From now on, we have one heart that beats with one rhythm. I felt it. I felt relieved. I can feel something too. I know that golden tail. Very impressive. Now, the other dimensions. This inscription is resisting. Let me act. From now on, all of our deeds are devoted to one common cause. I feel a tingling in my fingers. Don't get distracted. Mind. This inscription evades me. It won't let me grasp it. From now on, our mind will keep no secrets from itself. That's easy. I think I felt your thoughts. But we'll get back to that. Word. I cannot read this inscription. Maybe you got distracted. Focus. No, nothing. Perhaps without the fourth one, we won't be able to reveal the full potential. Keep trying. That's it. I think we're done. I think so. I know your favorite colors and many other things I didn't want to know. Thank you, Victor.
I felt a kind of thought, a feeling, yours. You didn't say you'd known my mother so well. I wonder if Victor's father knew. Let's focus on the present. Do we know what to do? Other than what has already been said, do you feel anything else? I have a different question. Were you going to tell me Konyechkin was dead? Since we have no more secrets, let's move on to the plan. I think we're all thinking the same thing. The Tsarevich will have an unforgettable birthday. Yes, this is our last chance at an audience with the Tsar before he leaves the city. But we can't go in empty-handed. We need arguments that will push the Tsar to make the right decision. We can stop the madness that has spread across the city without bloodshed. If only we could get through to the Tsar's supporters at the party and... Sneak past the Tsar's guards and military. We'd be able to get inside the Tsar's noggin. Let's do it. Oh, you're actually pleasant to look at now. These... these people won't break in here, will they? Just smile and check the invitations, Parmishka. Are your grimoires well hidden? Then we just need to get through the gate. Suggestions? Please, I'm counting on you. Gentlemen, let me handle this. Just follow me. Your invitation? I am Madame Samira, and these are my assistants. Countess Lermontova expects that I give her a tarot reading. Countess Lermontova, of course. But your companions... Of course. Come in, please. I didn't expect to see you here, Thaumaturge. You seem surprised to see me. I saw how the explosion swept you away and threw you like a ragdoll. I thought you were dead. Maybe I rose from the dead. Don't blaspheme. Only Grigori will experience this miracle. He will return. And with him, the hope for chasing away the darkness of an uncertain future. For his grace will be with us. Do you understand? What do you remember from this explosion? Chaos. Blood. It's hard for me to talk about it. Do you believe someone wanted to kill Rasputin? Of course! The first Christians were also thrown to the lions. Satan laid his hand on Grigori and tried to break him. But he will not bend. He will defeat death and return. What about Aniela and Lucian? They are no longer with us. They are already enjoying the afterlife, awaiting salvation. Do you think they deserved such a fate? Each of us has a different fate in store for them. Aniela was chosen. She died at Grigori's side. And Lucian just disappeared one day. I think he might have left because his fate wasn't strong enough. I don't want to talk about them anymore. I need to have clarity in my heart. I'll let you work. It's a mission. Preaching the truth. For I tell you having faith in yourself is treacherous. But having faith in him is the right way.
I can't eat anymore. Pass. Well, maybe just a piece of... Uh... Maria? What? Is it a crime to eat now? Don't pester a pregnant woman, please. Don't you recognize me? Oh, it's you. I've been so distracted lately. You know, being with child and all. Do you believe that Rasputin survived the explosion? He who believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. He who believes in me shall live forever. But it's a shame about Aniela. Silly woman, she could have been here with us. Oh well. I have to think about someone else now. Congratulations. Who's the lucky father? For behold, from henceforth, all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty have done to me great things. Pretty, isn't it? I'll be giving birth to a savior. Grigory loves me more than all of you. I see you found some new company. Who are they? These are my friends. Unlike Rasputin, they're real. You betrayed him. He gave you everything, and you abandoned him. You'll find out about this. You will see. Rasputin isn't here. Has he at least given you a sign that he's alive? You won't break my faith. That means no. Good luck. It's time for me to go. It's best that you do. I'll stop wasting my energy on you. I have to take care of myself. Shursky. Interesting sight. A bourgeois waiter. You do realize that you are still a wanted man? I didn't expect we would see each other again. After Rasputin's death, you tucked your tail and went crawling back to your old masters? I've never doubted the great mystic, unlike you. Rasputin chose me to be the executor of his work. Where were you when Rasputin was blown up along with Aunt Yaja's brothel? I was where he had ordered me to be. I don't question it. And if he told you to organize the explosion, you wouldn't question that either? This is none of your business, Shursky. I went to Povishle. I witnessed the reverence shown to Rasputin's corpse with my own eyes. For as yet they knew not the scripture that he must rise again from the dead, and he will rise again, and there will not be a single scar on his body. Today, we will witness a real miracle. The miracle will be much easier to pull off because it's Nadazhinsky who died, not Rasputin. You don't have to pretend before me. Who am I to question the decisions of the great mystic? Lucian Nadazhinsky fulfilled his destiny. He earned his salvation and proper resurrection, which will come in the wake of the Second Coming. I have yet to earn my salvation. Nadazhinsky died only so Rasputin could ride in here on a donkey all dressed in white to fool a few people at the party. This will be a magnificent spectacle. The heralded triumph of good over evil. Make sure you choose the right side. So you also got a vague letter. But unlike me, I guess you actually believed its contents. You are not worthy enough to find your way to Rasputin, so be silent, Judas scum. Soon the entire world will serve him, and I shall be his right hand. Me alone, perhaps. I keep thinking, what's Rasputin's plan for getting an audience from the Tsar? And how is someone like you going to help him accomplish it? He speaks to me and chooses my targets. The Blade doesn't ask where to strike and why. But you will not understand. His prophecy will come to pass whether you want it to or not. 
You know you're not the only helper here, right? I also met Maria. Did you know she's with child? No surprise who the father is. When Rasputin gets this child, how long do you think it will take for you to fall out of favor? Maria, the whore. She's not worthy of such an honor. And her friend? Magdalena preaches Rasputin's word, just like he told her to. And she brings him new converts. What about you? You coordinate the operation while hiding in the bushes? I've already received my orders. Rasputin will never forgive you, and when he returns, he will reward me for bringing you to justice, for I am his hammer that smites the witches. A familiar face. Good evening. Are you trying to cook up another scandal? The last time I saw you, you were accompanied by two gentlemen. What happened to them? I needed some space. Sergei, why the hostility? Let's see. Because you humiliated me. Because you ruined my chance to get happily married. Sofia has traveled across the ocean just to stay away from me. I'm sorry about your broken heart, Sergei. You opened my eyes to the fact that she never loved me, for which I will be eternally grateful. Nevertheless, I need to ask, what are you actually doing here? I'm here to celebrate His Royal Highness Tsarevich Alexei's birthday. So, you're paying homage to Russia, the country that persecutes thaumaturgists like you, and plans to have them slaughtered in the streets. What do you mean? I believe you should listen to me. Yes? What did you want to share with me? I was recently elected to the city council. I've also been attending audiences with Tsar Nikolai. Things that are now being discussed at the top are making me worry. First of all, congratulations on the high-profile job. Thank you. What are you specifically worried about? The Council has prepared a series of anti taumaturgist decrees. They only need to be signed by the Tsar. In the decrees, Skawon advocates for such ideas as exile or creating adjustment clinics. 
Shall I go on? I'd like to know some specifics. For example, those clinics. That's the most ruthless part. Do you know what a lobotomy looks like? That's how these places are meant to socially adjust taumaturges. But you didn't hear it from me, all right? I didn't expect to find an ally in you. Likewise. Please, be careful. Thank you, Sergei. That's enough. What are you going to do? I'm going to get through to the one who can help me with that. Have a good evening. These spirits tell me you can't go any further. I can see a certain old hag there. Would it be Countess Lermontova? Indeed. She and her family are thick with the Romanovs. So she must know a lot. I would talk to her, but I'm afraid she'll recognize me and call the guards. You want me to do what I reckon? I think the Countess is waiting for her tarot reading. You remembered. Keep her busy, and I'll see what I can learn from reading her belongings. That's what I'm thinking. I suggest you start with Donut. Donut? Her dog. The Countess's thoughts cling to him like a barnacle. Go. I'll meet you here when you're done. Good boy. <laughs> Nothing can be kept secret from me. How was your chat with the Countess? Better tell me what you have found. Wait, wait, don't say it. Just focus on it. Are you afraid the old lady will take everything from you and your sister to build a new palace for herself? I'm sorry, I can't resist it, but I can sympathize. I can feel how important it is for you. The Countess pitched me a lovely story about how the confiscated goods would be used to help the needy. We both know she's lying, and her decree is already on the Tsar's desk, ready to be signed. I like these new abilities more and more. Now try to read what I think about it. You want to get back at her? I never thought revenge was in your nature. I'm thinking we might try to make the Countess tell everyone what she thinks out loud. So, I'll take care of everything. Thank you for trying to help me. I really appreciate it. I might not have been born into a fortune like you, but I know what real loneliness is. And now that we've formed a pact, I finally have somewhere I belong. And I won't have anyone mess with my people. Fine, let's do it. Watch and listen carefully. There is one more thing I would like to ask you. I feel confused about the plan to confiscate properties. Could you explain how it's really going to work and to whose advantage? But of course, as soon as the Tsar puts his signature on it, the Lermonts will take over the Taumaturge's properties for a contribution to the fight against those parasites. Mother, keep it down. Don't be ashamed, son. You did agree to this. It would be a pity if that money was wasted. And this way, we can build you a beautiful mansion so that you can finally move out. But what good would the money do to the poor? They would just throw it away. Mother, we should go now. Madame, please excuse us. Can you 
you feel it? It's the smell of mystery. I didn't think I would see you again. And yet, here you are. After what you told me at Rodbritzis recently, I had no doubt you'd show up. I always try to make the most of my opportunities. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, death for death. I don't care what you do, as long as you don't get in my way. Goodbye. Farewell. Vanda? I told you to leave me alone. I know you have a gun and you want to kill Skawan. I was going to start with Konyechkin, but that coward got rubbed out by some random Genef. So it's Skawan's turn now. I'll kill him and anyone who gets in my way. I've got my own plans for the night, and you might upset my apple cart. I'm here with someone you know and respect. We are making a significant effort to fight for the cause without spilling blood. Emir is here? Yes, and if he means anything to you, put off your revenge and let us do what we need to. Swear. I swear. But now go home and let me act. I can see you've picked the spot right in the thick of things. Are you having a good time? Not too bad. I just had a chat with a certain young lady in waiting. But we'll get back to that. I bet parties like this are nothing new for you. Expensive evening wear, champagne, imminent danger. This is perfect. What about the lady in waiting? She told me that the Tsar is in one of the chambers on the upper floor. The stairs are guarded by Skawan's soldiers, and the Governor General himself is keeping an eye on the entire hall. We must make him look away. I'll try to approach Skawan somehow. Be careful. Is there anything else? Vanda is here. I was afraid she might show up. Have you talked to her? Yes, and I know she's planning to kill Skawan in revenge. She will die. Worse yet, she'll ruin everything we've worked toward. I took care of her. Apart from her hurt pride and ruined plans for the evening, she's safe and sound. There's something else that bothers me. Tell me. I'll try to help. I've heard some news about certain decrees waiting to be signed on the Tsar's desk. What's in them? I've learned that one of the ideas to combat Thaumaturges will be the forfeiture of our properties. How do you feel about it as an heir to a fortune? To be honest, my sister should be more concerned. I only got an old book. Still. I can't believe that brings you peace. I managed to have a few words with a certain young man from the city council. He told me about an idea to introduce places that in a nutshell would make us thaumaturges lose our minds, and thereby our powers. What exactly are you talking about? A lobotomy. At least that's what it sounds like. There's something else that bothers me. Tell me. I'll try to help. I'll come back later. Good luck.
Good evening. Who are you? I've got a feeling I've seen you before. I came here with my friends, and I'm hoping to introduce them to you. Soon. If they were truly important, I'd know them already. Have you got a cigarette? Sadly, no. That's too bad. Anything else I can help you with? How is Miss Sofia doing? Is she in good health? I don't have a daughter, and I suggest you watch your mouth. Let's change the subject. Good idea. How do you find His Royal Highness's birthday party? As the one in charge of Warsaw, I have my duties regarding the royal couple, so I am not paying much attention to the banquet. You must excuse me. The pile of presents for the Tsarevich looks impressive and continues to grow. Yes, indeed. I know what you gave little Alexei, but I heard that the gift was regarded as inappropriate by some. As a child, I dreamed about having one. You might be right. Perhaps a knife isn't a proper gift for a child. He might cut himself and... Yes, it might not have been the best present. Let's change the subject. Go there. I can still hear gunshots from the city. As a concerned subject, can I ask if we're safe here? I understand, and I tell you the same thing I'm telling others. The situation is under control. My best men are keeping you safe. Not even a mouse could squeeze by. What about thaumaturges? What if any of them managed to sneak in? If they did, I would know about it. I can only tell you that this problem will soon be solved. Meaning? Thaumaturges are dangerous. Riots, explosions, that Rasputin character scout terrorists. A complete decay of authority. Their plotting affects everyone, even those dear to us. Do you think that bearded cultist, Rasputin, is a thaumaturge too? Most likely. How else would he deceive so many people? Even Tsarina Alexandra looks kindly upon him. Luckily, he was killed by a bomb in a brothel. Has the Thaumaturge ever hurt anyone close to you? This is a sensitive matter for me. My close family has had some tragic experiences with their black magic. I see. Don't forget the cholera epidemics that keep plaguing the town. Is the Thaumaturge is doing too. I see we understand each other. I heard one of those magicians escaped from the Citadel. Was it Shulsky? Yes, but soon enough we'll see him dangling from a rope. How would one know they're dealing with Shulsky? I know their tricks. Don't worry. Besides, the chance he shows up here is close to zero. What a relief. Thank you, Governor General. Anything else? Is that Shulsky guy dangerous? Shulsky is the epitome of depravity. He had everything, but his cursed blood made him go off the rails. Such a morally unstable temper monster is capable of anything. But, as I've already said, we are safe from him here. Thank you. I feel better now. My mission is to protect the Tsar's subjects. Let's change the subject. Good idea. Let's return to the situation in the city. What now? How are you going to handle those socialist militia members? Militia? Sir, they are nothing but rabble, so let's refer to them as such. I am just a heartbeat away from having them executed by firing squad. They can't get in here, can they? That's out of the question. On my orders, half a battalion is guarding the Tsar and his guests. 
Are you still worried about the situation in this city? Let's change the subject. Good idea. I won't take any more of your time. Enjoy yourself. And... I talked to the Governor-General. So, how does it feel to come face to face with the Butcher of Warsaw and exchange pleasantries about refreshments? Up close, it doesn't seem so scary. Right. Have you learned anything that might help? The Governor carries the floor, and I want to take advantage of it. Are you going to rid him of it? Surely it may affect his well-being. And I hope we can get rid of him that way. Wait. Before we start, you should make sure we're ready to talk to the Tsar. There will be no turning back. I believe I've gotten everything I could. Fine. Skawan's flaw. It might work. Just promise me one thing. You'll be extremely cautious with him. I promise I'll try. Shall we? We wanted to talk to you, my friends and I. Where am I? Governor General? Welcome to Inside Your Head, Skawan. We've got you now. Wait a second. Something's wrong. Shouldn't he be unconscious? Unless he has his own powers, his conscious state could be an effect of the Pact. Sara Rifkin? And you? What's going on here? Who are you? My name is Viktor Shulski. Shulski. I will have you executed on the spot, all of you! So, shall we get down to it? Go on. I can't wait. What does it feel like to be at the mercy of thaumaturges? Terrifying. What is this? You've just found out that we're not capable of lying in this place. Intriguing, isn't it? What am I hearing? You want to experiment on us, deprive us of powers and reason. May Allah have mercy on you. I'll deal with him. I'll show the Butcher his place. Of course. Your worst nightmare is coming true. A thaumaturge will remind you of what true fear means. You're scared of her, even though she's been dead for many years. She repaid you for the way you oppressed her because she had powers and you didn't. What happened to you? She sent a demon after me. My own sister. She brought down nightmares upon me. I went in my bed for years. That's why your fear turned into anger and anger into hate. You pathetic creature. That's enough. You're enjoying this too much. I've waited a long time for this. Don't interrupt me. We didn't come here for revenge. And this. Think about the humiliation you felt when your present wasn't appreciated. It wasn't about the present. Then what was it? The fact that the Tsarevich's illness was kept secret from me. Right. And you want to be the most important. You want to know everything. Control everything. That's the only way we can have order. Your home. The place you don't miss. Why is that? Because I was never safe there. What were you afraid of? That she would hurt me again on a whim. Who? Say it out loud. My cursed demonic sister, may she burn in hell. I don't want to. I don't want to talk anymore. The floor is ready. Remove it, and we can go. Remove it? You want to give him relief? He doesn't deserve peace. Besides, he's seen our faces. 
There's a chance you'll be a different man without it. I will free you from the fear that has triggered this destructive hatred within you. What a disappointing ending for someone like that. Good job. Let's go. I had a feeling it was going too easy. You! Who are you? Rukivier! I'm afraid I've got other plans. Couldn't you have handled it some other way? What was I supposed to do? Have a duel of arguments with him? Stop it. We've got things to do here. Stop! Who are you? Scowon! The Governor General is a little indisposed right now, and I don't think he will get better soon. Don't come any closer! Better put it down before anyone gets hurt. You will lay down your weapon. You don't need it. Is that better? What is going on? How? How is that possible? You must be thaumaturges. Is that a revolution? Are you here to kill me? My name is Viktor Shulski. This is Emir Burnakovich and Madame Samira. I appreciate the change in tone. Viktor Shulski, do you want my demise? We come with demands because the situation forces us to do so. The most crucial thing for us is that you stop hunting thaumaturges. The pogroms must end. Stop murdering us. How dare you break in here and make demands? Tell me why would I agree to anything? Does your Imperial Majesty remember Svetlana Petrovna? A traitor to the Tsardom. She died while trying to escape the city. Why do you mention her? Victor, weigh your words now. What did Svetlana Petrovna tell you? Svetlana was the Tsarina's confidant. She enjoyed her friendship, which she reciprocated. I know where she rests, along with the secrets, and I can share that knowledge. It's an act of goodwill on our part. Go on. Who knows, we might reach an agreement after all. 
We stand before your majesty not as some motley crew, but as a group of thaumaturges united by a pact. We've done the impossible to get here today. And from that position, we seek to start a dialogue. We believe it will bring mutual benefits. Do you have a name for it? You can call us the Coterie. We know there are some decrees on the Tsar's desk awaiting your signature. And what do you think is in them? We know the decrees stipulate creating special adjustment clinics, and thaumaturgists won't be the only patients there. Your subjects, so diverse in terms of ethnicity and religion, will surely recognize the threat, and their fear will turn into hatred. The Empire will fall. The Crown has enough enemies outside without having to deal with internal ones. I've heard enough. I understand you want something in exchange. Let me hear it. We want justice for the wrongdoing we suffer in the streets, and for the blood we are forced to spill to survive. We want more freedom in the political and social domain for everyone. The people of Warsaw, one of the most important municipalities in Russia, will remember your gesture. Is that all? Make the Ochrana forget about Sararivkin and let her files disappear from their archives forever. You want power. Just admit it already. The sooner you admit it, the better. Power can be won or bestowed. Today, you did both. We will meet your demands and expect allegiance and loyalty in the return. So help me God. If that's all, Taumaturgi, I trust we have reached an agreement. Do I hear applause? What's going on there? Time's running out, and my guests are waiting. Let's keep it short. Is that it? Can I finally get some champagne? Stanislav can finally rest in peace, son. You should be proud. We all owe you a lot. I couldn't do it without you. Thank you. You're too generous, sir. Friends! Today, on the birthday of my son and successor, my father's words show the direction of my thoughts. The voice of God orders us courageously to undertake in deference to divine intention, the task of ruling, with faith in the strength and rightness of autocratic power. The riots in Warsaw fill our hearts with much sadness, and the nation's grief is also the grief of the Emperor of Russia. We have closed our eyes to the suffering of our people, to the suffering of Taumaturgi, who were granted their powers by God. Which is why I consider it our moral duty to stop all kinds of violence against them, effective immediately. That is our wish. However, may those who take my grace for weakness know that the Russian Empire is strong and ruthless against its enemies. So help me God. I'm happy to see you. You look good. New company. Friends. What now? Congratulations. Russia is on your side again. Your dream has come true. I had dreamed I would celebrate that success with you. But you chose someone else. Victor, is everything all right? Is this that Rasputin of yours? I expected something more. Assalamu alaikum. 
Could you tell me how you are able to talk with us here? This must be your new daddy, Victor. Aren't you going to introduce me? And this must be the famous Madame Samira, the identity thief. Wait, I think someone is missing. Oh, right. You were so selfish that you didn't keep your word. And you didn't give him the golem. And he died. Is he bothering you? We were just talking. In that case, I'll go get some champagne. It was nice to meet you. I should be going too. Until next time, Viktor Stanislavovich. Go. Enjoy the evening. Today marks the beginning of a new chapter for all of us. What did he want from you? We were talking about not-so-good old days. Do you expect he might want to seek revenge? I don't think so. You can't lie when you're in someone else's head. I can't stand the cold of the snow. There's no use for it. And the glasses constantly fog up when you come into a warm room. Then why do you wear them? After the explosion, I'm having problems with my eyesight. Now that you wear them, you really are the spitting image of Stanislav. Some tea to warm up? I won't say no to that. I had a new rumor a propos Skaon. Once we made him aware of a few things, he disappeared, and now they're saying he shot himself. Well, I could have been less restrained. I know. The other news is rather grim. There's a new political power on the rise in the city. Besides being resentful of Jews, they also want to get rid of thaumaturges and homosexuals. What about the Tatars? Let's ask. They're getting together at a bar in Vola. Who are they exactly? Forgive me, I didn't ask. But it would be good to make sure they don't grow any larger. Let's go. Let's listen to what they have to say at these drinking bouts of theirs. Is today that special day when you're not preoccupied with your little revolutionary? Maybe yes, maybe not. They won't protect you. Every debt will be repaid, one way or another. Victor, what are you waiting for? Doesn't matter. Let's go. They say your choices define your value. What does that make me? The Upper took me on a journey that made me realize how my difficult relationship with my father looked from his point of view, and how I should look at it in hindsight. Ligia and I see each other as often as we can. I do have my duties with the Coterie, and she... She keeps taking up new challenges. Her ambition won't allow her to rest. Not for a moment. Uncle Sasha has become a grandfather. He seems to enjoy spending his retirement pampering his grandchild. The circumstances of the Warsaw Ochrana chief's death have never been clarified, and hopefully it will stay that way. All right, Victor. Move on to what's really interesting. Which is? Aboritz and Victor remain friends, and together they spread terror throughout the bars of Warsaw. With my charisma and uh, your money. Fine, Aboritz. I think they got it. That's enough. But you will come for some booze later, right? Don't forget. I will, I will. Go now. Warsaw is the way it has always been. The people live their own lives, not asking questions or demanding answers. But in the air, you can feel the wind of change coming from the east. The Flying University 
has been legalized, thus enabling hundreds of women to realize the dreams of education and to be ready for anything that fortune visits upon the city. The weary traveler made it to his longed-for Albuquerque. How do I know? That's a completely different story. But enough about that. It's time for a new adventure, my friend. Oh, 